back to Crafters TV. Uh, I hope you're having a brilliant Sunday. I hope you're having a really lovely, uh, relaxed day. I hope you've got your feet up, having a bit of you time, you know, maybe, oh, maybe there's some roast potatoes in the oven, Debbie, uh, oh. because, or oh, maybe some Yorkshire puddings as well, a bit of roast beef, oh, oh. absolutely delicious. Maybe uh, you are across on the East Coast uh, in the US and you're only just uh, waking up, maybe it's the morning for you. Hello, I hope you've got a lovely cup of coffee, I hope you've got the papers, and that uh, you're gonna have a, a lovely sort of relaxed easing into your day with us here at Crafters TV. This is a masterclass, that means we're gonna really do our best to educate you and inspire you uh, with a collection that I know a lot of you already own. Now, doing the education and inspiring, uh, I'm not gonna be doing that, because that's not the bit I'm good at. I'm good at the gossiping bit, well, Debbie actually is quite good at the educating and the gossiping bit, so I'm glad you're hearing me in the studio, Debbie. How are you? I can multitask. Right, that's why, Joe. I love a bit of both. I love being educational. I love being a tad inspirational if we can as well, but I love a good old gossip too. That's why me and Joe. A salacious gossip, another word I've picked up from Joe. Absolutely fabulous. Okay, I'm going to show you, before we start, I'm going to show you what we're going to do in this masterclass so that you can see it. I'm going to show you how you can work these beautiful boxes, uh, but you can do them in everyday kind of crafts as well. But I'm just going to show you what we're going to be concentrating Tonight I'm going to show you how you can make your box with your worker element in a nice small box that we have here, a nice standard size, but everything folds up lovely and flat, so it's perfect for posting as well, Joe. But it has that lovely, wonderful pop-up feature. We're going to show you how you can make a medium-sized box, and I said medium, that's quite still quite a large box, uh, but we've got everyday and Christmas collections in here. Uh, again, folds nice and flat. Um, we're going to go really tall, Joe, really tall. We're going to take it even bigger. Look, it's that tall, it's all much cut on the screen. The it's so tall. Um, Exactly. So I'm going to show you how you can use that worker die element for that. And then lastly, we're going to do one where you can show you how you can incorporate into your card making to have a lovely little bit of a special woo -woo, pop out feature in the middle of your card. Oh, so I've I'm going never to show seen you, that before. Yeah, I'm just going to show you something a little bit different. Um, that's what the masterclass is all about. It's how you work them, how you use them, little tips and hints along the way. Um, and I, I'm really looking forward to it. I can't wait to get my teeth stuck into this one, Joel. Yeah, it's going to be a really, really great show. I know a lot of you already own these collections, so I'd love to see some pictures. Studio at craftscompanion.co.uk uh, is where you need to send those into. Uh, uh, you can send them there, uh, whether it's the festive ones, we've got those on the shows for you, we've got the everyday ones on the show. Uh, I know a lot of you have been making and using maybe some of your own other stamps and dies, like the um, Staycation collection are awesome to go with your pop-up boxes. All of your butterflies work beautifully as well. Now, if you want to chat away with me, if you've got uh, qu any questions or comments as we go through the show, you can do that in the, all of the usual ways. So across on Crafters TV, over on Facebook, or what you can do is you can get in touch over on YouTube as well. Loads of you are saying hello already. Monica says hello from Detroit, Michigan. Put your hands up for Detroit, uh, Monica. Uh, Vader saying good morning from pa Pasadena in Texas. Um, oh, I bet it's, it's early there, isn't it? Suzette's uh, in a very, more, a very rainy morning in PEI. She, uh, we always do this, Suzette, and I always can never remember what PEI is. You're going to have to let me know, I'm afraid. Rachel's in Adelaide in South Australia. Hello, Rachel. Laura uh, is tuning in from Manchester. I can see Mary's here. Janet's saying hi as well. Katie's in San Francisco. Jocelyn says, I'm having a cuppa and a pastry after my walk. Oh, it doesn't get much better than that, does it? Uh, Treasure Hearts says, good morning, everyone. Uh, and Paula saying hi uh, to us all from Ohio. Ohio, uh, Paula. Loads of you letting me know what you're up to this morning, which is brilliant. Uh, oh, it's Prince Edward Island. It's a Canadian province. I, I know it was in Canada somewhere, uh, but I just couldn't remember where, so I'm glad we got there. Uh, Karen's got a coffee. She's ready. Enchanted Craft Fairy. She's cleaning along, rearranging the craft space. She needs room for all of the great things that are coming her way. And Jane is doing her crafting while she has is watching. Crystal already going to be loving the idea of having that pop out inside the card so make sure you stay tuned for that if you've got favorite ways that you have of using them absolutely let me know uh, across in the comments now everything of course is available in the show i know most of you a lot of you out there will already own these fabulous collections but whatever you want to do if you want to turn anything into a pop-out box then it all starts with this which is the gemini dimensionals pop-up box base die now this has everything you need it going to create for you the actual mechanism here which is going to allow you to create the shell if you will the worker die you've still got everything that you need to cut the panels the tabs that go on the inside uh some decorations for the outside of there as well 24 9 
99.99 if you are here in the UK, or if you're across in the US, 39.95. Uh, platinum members, 19.99 uh, and 31.96 if you want to get your hands on those. So that is what you'll need to add all of this other awesome stuff into that I'm about to show you. Right, we're going to start with the everyday collection. Now, you can go for the whole collection that I'm going to show you. What I would also say is everything's available individually and you can mix and match across both collections that I'm about to share with you, uh, where you'll be able to grab any two for £26 or $35. So good to bear that in mind. Right, let's get going then and show you uh, what we've got because I love how modern all of these are. They make such amazing full lush projects. This one here is Believe in Fairies that you can see just here. Now, the detail that you've got in here is absolutely extraordinary. Got all of your little fairies in here, you've got uh, your toadstools, you've got the little house in there as well. It's really, really lovely. The next one I've got for you is your Ocean Paradise, uh, as you'll see just here. Now, this one is awesome. This is giving me real aerial vibes, this one, uh, and it really is fantastic. Uh, again, the artwork is gorgeous. If you love colouring, uh, you're going to absolutely love colouring these with your alcohol markers along with a whole host of other different elements. The next one I've got for you here, this is, um, is it Once Upon a Time? Is this one called Once Upon a Time? There you are. So you've got that one there with the unicorns and you've got uh, your, um, um, your princess in there. You've got a carriage, you've got rainbows in here, you've got all sorts uh, in there for you. The next one we've got for you is the floral one, which is here. Now this is really beautiful. Also, I think the great thing about this one is the floral boutique is that it's great for a whole host of different occasions, which is awesome. So you're going to be able to use it for lots of different things. How about a vintage tea party? Uh, that's the next one that I've got for you just here. That one is absolutely gorgeous. Again, you've got your teapot, you've got your afternoon tea, like all of your cake in there. You've got, really got a little bit of everything. Birthdays. Now, it's great that we've got birthdays covered in here as well. Uh, so you've got your birthday collection there for you, which is called Happy Birthday. Um, that one in there is going to be awesome. Uh, let's face it, birthday is one of the most popular um, well, it, we've all got one, haven't we, basically? It's the one we make the most amount of things for. And the last, by no means least, you've got Back to Nature, which is this one just here. The colours on that one, particularly gorgeous. Uh, a lot of you loving that one already. Now, the best way to get the best value is to go for the big bundle itself. £53.60 or £70.40 £70 if you are a Club Inspire Platinum member. Everyone says saves £37 or $51. You're saving even more uh, if you are in the club, which all of you are, I know. So that is your everyday collection. Then what we've got is we have got our Christmas collection. Now, my nativity... Um, Joseph and Mary are missing off my nat <laughs> nativity. Um, and I mean, you can't really have a nativity. I mean, all I've got really is a couple of donkeys and a few sheep, Debbie. <laughs> I'm so Could you, sorry. Do you want to share? Do you want to share yours? I mean, it's more like a petting uh, zoo, mine. I, I don't have to fix so that. I'm so sorry, Joe. I never noticed when I gave it you to have a look at and do apologise. But the way in the manger is just a traditional Christmas scene and it really is lovely. I love the idea that you could start your Christmas cards. Who was it that commented yesterday, Joe? Do you remember the lovely lady that commented and she said she, I think she'd started making already her Christmas oh, cards. Oh, some Christmas cards, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Didn't want to this is something you could be doing. I know it sounds really daft. I joined her Facebook group once, Joe, and it was make a, a Christmas card every week. And by the time that was up, 52 cards, Christmas cards, done and dusted, just like that. So if you're committed to your New Year's resolution, make a Christmas card, one every week, you're going to have 52 cards at the end of the year and ready and raring to go to give to somebody. But can you imagine them giving them something like this? A traditional scene of Mary and Joseph, and look how beautiful it is. It is one of my favourite scenes of Christmas because it just depicts absolutely everything when it comes to our traditional Christmas and it's beautiful. It so really yeah, is. Yeah, make your New Year's resolution, one Christmas card a week and you've got your two at end of week. How well, talking of, talking of resolutions, uh, Debbie, we're going to be talking about that more. Apparently this is the day that most of us break our resolutions. Let me show you the rest of the ones that you've got here in the festive collection. So you've got this one just here, which is always popular. It is, of course, our gingerbread house, as you can see here. Then what we've got is this one just here, which is our, this one here. Oh, hang on, do you know what? Do we have this one on the show? That's not Christmas. Is it Christmas Cottage? 
It is Christmas Cottage, indeed. That one there is your Christmas Cottage. Uh, then what you've got is, oh, the cottage. Do you know why you can't see it? It's hiding behind that deer there. Oh, dear. It's not a deer, is it? Is it a stag? A stag is a deer, isn't it? I'm glad we got there in the end. Hello, dear. Uh, we've got the poinsettia for you as well. Um, and then you've also got the snowman. Do I have a sample of the snowman? Do you have a board, though, so you'll be able to see all the elements that are included there on your snowman as well. Now, some of them are only available in the actual big collection. So the Nativity one, Away in a Manger, you can only get that in the big collection. All the others are part of the multi-buy, so two for £26 or $35. If you wanted to get the Christmas collection, you can get all five of these here for 37 60 as a club member or $50 40 So it really is awesome value for money on those. And I mean, a couple of them are really Christmassy. You know, the, uh, well, do you know what? Actually, only really the Away in a Manger is really, really Christmassy. The others you're going to get used out of all year through. There is an awesome paper pad as well that goes with these pop-up box collections, and we've managed to get some stock of that back for you. So it's, uh, it's basically designed so that with the everyday ones, you're going to have papers that go with everything. A quarter of the stock of this one has gone. 850 is a fantastic price on that as well. So do stock up on that. 8 by 8 in size, 180 GSM, you get 48 sheets of that, which is awesome value for money. Now, loads of you still chatting away. Um, I love the pop-up box, says Monica, and so many stamp and die sets work so great with the box. Absolutely, yes. You know, don't think about just using these stamps and dies with it. Any of your smaller stamps and dies will work awesome within your pop-up boxes. Um, Mary Pat says, I just received the fairy pop-up set. Uh, Mary Kelly says, hi, Joe and Debbie. Love the pop-up boxes. Would love to see some new things to add to what we already have. How about some dinosaurs? I think that would be an awesome idea. Laura Jones says, already making mine for 2021. I think that's a Christmas card she's referring to. Alison Morgan as well says, got four Christmas cards already done for Christmas, for 2021. Now that is organised. I mean, I've still got Christmas cards I haven't sent for 2020, to be honest, but um, <laughs> you know, the fact that you're making on them already, apparently as well, today is the day, Debbie, Yes. when people fail their New Year's resolutions. It they is the day. What is the date today? Is it the 14th, 17th? Um, so yeah, today's the day, apparently. I haven't started my New Year's resolutions yet, because I thought, do you know what? If you don't start them until a little bit later in, then I think you're less likely to fail them. I was meant to start them last week, actually, and then didn't. So, um, did you make any? No, 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 Joe, because I am one of those people. And you said today is the day that traditionally everyone fails and yeah. stops. Uh, I probably get to about 2nd of January and then it all goes out of the window. I see. So I've decided to stop putting myself under so much pressure to start that healthy eating plan or, or do something, you know, that I'm going to commit myself to doing. Because by the 2nd or 3rd of January, it's I go out of the window. So um, I can understand why couple of weeks in, it is traditionally known today as being the day that everyone fails yeah, their absolutely. resolutions. I'd love to know, Joe, is there a person out there that makes the resolutions, sticks to them and gets that goal? I'd love to know if there is. All year? Absolutely, all year. Mm. Drop in the comments, let, let us, us know, because me and Joe would be really interested in that one. Yeah, absolutely. I um, would love to know. Yeah, someone that's stuck to their New Year's resolution all year, if you are that person. I don't, it can't be like, you know, to eat more cream buns was my New Year's resolution, and then I managed to do that. Or, you know, it was to spend more money on craft, and it turns out then I managed to do that. You know, we're talking about, like, actual challenges here, not just, you know, I decided I was going to go to work every week, every day for the rest of the year, and I managed to do that. Uh, so, yeah, do let me know. It is a really, really busy. Uh, you're loving the everyday ones at the moment. Uh, they are your favourite. Remember, don't forget that you can max, max and Mitch. You can mix and match. Uh, you can max and match if you want to, uh, but mix and match across both of these collections. Right, Debbie, what are we going to be looking at first? Right, I'm going to show you the worker element. So this is the pop-out die. Now, can I tell you about this pop-out die, Joe? We've got amazing uh, sets that cover all sorts of different occasions, every day, Christmas. But think of all the other things you own in your crafty stash 
and what you can add to this. I've already heard, did I hear someone say dinosaurs earlier? What a great idea that was. But there's lots of things you can use. The, da the, the worker element is the bit that does all the hard work for you. Now, there's a reason why, and I'm just going to move that out of the way for a second. This is how it comes to you. And there's a reason why we've done it in this size, because we've not committed to having a die that means you can only use it in one way. You know us guys that, well I say us, and the, uh, I was going to say we, uh, the royal we, uh, you know we always try and think a little bit outside the box and rather than giving you a traditional one that would just make a standard size box, we've given you a die that actually has the capability to go small, medium and large and literally when I say large, a, a sheet of A4, you could use a sheet of A3 if you wanted to be that adventurous but the reason being is because what we've done is we've popped the cutting line going all the way across the top sides two sides here and stops and then it's got all the score lines in as well which I just think is great but the capability to extend because we haven't put those cut lines in there or cut it off at that point means you've got a real great versatile worker die that's going to work you time and time and time and time again for lots of different things so with that said oh can I just mention as well can I just mention we've got tags on here so we've got three different style tags on here we've got the worker element of the um what's the right word for this Joe um, um I'm trying to think of the right word it's the bits where you put in the middle the inserts the tabs yeah. insert inside your box we've given you one of those and you can we've given you three marks and I'll explain in a moment what you can use on the inside of the box but again the possibilities are endless especially if you're going for a bigger size box you could do four five six seven eight depending on how many you want to put in there so again that, that's showing you the versatility of this and like I said three lovely tags Joe you love a tag and then I we've got them. two panels here that are used uh, for your nest I say nesting dies, but for your panels, they fit perfectly onto your panels. So, with that said, I'm going to show you how you use these. Now, like I said, you can go really small. And when I say really small, that's the smallest box that you can go to. It's a tiny little box, but it still packs an absolute cramp. I mean, look at this, Joe. It's absolutely cramp-packed full of goodies. And the wonderful thing about it is, is that it all folds absolutely flat and will go flat into an envelope as well. Uh, but when you pop it out, look at that incredible pop of explosion of colour and of, ooh, cakes. Afternoon yeah. teas, oh, 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 absolutely. I love Maybe that Maybe you one. could let us know what your favourite cake was in the, in the comments. What's your favourite <laughs> like cake, one. Debbie? Oh, my favourite cake. You get me with this every time. It always changes depending on the mood I'm in. But my absolute favourite cake is carrot cake. Carrot cake. I love a carrot cake, Joe. I love a carrot cake. Not going to yeah. lie, I love a good old carrot cake. Do um, you know what? So, go on. What were you saying, Joe? Carrot cake, delicious. And healthier. It must be healthy. It's got vegetables in it. <laughs> if vegetables are so good for you, why is vegetable oil so bad for you? That's what I want to know. It I doesn't love, compute. Do you know what? I love my veg, Joe. I'm a, I am a veg lover. I love veg. I love my trees, which I nickname as like. People are saying, what's a tree? Broccoli. Broccoli. Little trees. It just reminds me of trees. So I love my trees. I love eating that. I love cabbage. Oh, I love all sorts of carrots. I'm a as bit long of a, as cook properly. Cook I'm properly. a bit of a salad dodger. Cru Oh, you're not, are you, yeah, Joe? No. I'm good. When I'm being good and I'm healthy eating, I'm very good. I'm all about the green smoothies and, you know, all the veg and all of that. <laughs> Do you know what my thing is, Debbie? There is zero middle ground with me. And it's not just about dieting. It's everything. Do you know what I mean? I'm either doing it or I'm not doing it. There's no, there is no, there's no, there's no grey areas with there, me. There's no grey areas, is None there? None at all. <laughs> <laughs> right, Joe, I'm popping this onto my Gemini. Now, I've actually cut a piece of A4 card down and I've cut it six inches. So, again, you could take this to the bottom there and have your little dinky box if you wanted to. But if you want to take it, and I'm, I'm having a six inch depth of this one. So, I'm just going to take it up to the top and I'm going to just place that uh, low tack tape on as well. So, low tack tape pop it on to hold it into place and run it through your Gemini. And it's as simple as that. And this is going to create the worker part of this die. There we go. So I'm just going to pop these in, Joe. Let me just run that through my Gemini. And if you saw what we had on the craft vault, we had the Gemini on the craft vault this, uh, this morning. It feels like this morning, only about an hour ago when we had that on. So yeah, you can run these through. I forgot as well, you can put two through at the same time and I should have done that so that I could save myself a bit of work because this will cut through two, two pieces at the same time. However, what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to lift the tape off and I'm going to run that through again. So I've got my two pieces that will be exactly the same size as well, Joe. So let's just pop that on and I'm just going to take my tape off carefully, she says. 
not like a band-aid like a normal do let me run that on there again and i'm just going to run that one again through so that i've got two pieces because this worker element will do your um main die part but what you're going to do is just run that through the second time so i'm just going to pop that on again joe and run through a second one there we go so I don't know if you want to be just reading some comments, seeing what people are yeah, commenting absolutely. on. Yeah, absolutely. I've got some card talk, actually, I'd love to share with you, uh, which we've got on the show today. It's always so popular, the A3 card talk, whenever we bring it to you. Let me show you what we've got. So we've got uh, the Snow White, a uh, hint of gold, which is this one here. A3, of course, double A4. So you've got that hint of gold, which is brilliant. Uh, and then also you're going to get this in the hint of silver, which is this one just here. Again, 25 sheets of this one too, which is brilliant. Not often we have uh, our A3 card stock in stock as well, so it really is great to stock up on it. So you've got the hint of silver, and then what you've got is you've got 20 sheets of the ivory, but the ivory is perfect for your card blanks because it's double-sided. So it's not only A3, but double-sided A3 in the ivory. You can make some mahoosive pop-up boxes with this. It's also great for bigger card concepts that you might want to make with your uh, score master and your ultimate pro as well. £25 today or $38. £20 as a platinum member in the UK um, and I know it sells out time and time again so grab it if you've been waiting for a great deal uh, on some A3. Right, Joe. So I've just released all these now. Let me take all my tape marks off there. So I've got now two pieces of cardstock the same size. And what they've got on here are the cut parts. So you can see you've got your cut lines there. And then you've got what we call your score lines. Now, for this, I need to extend my score lines a little bit. So this is when your score master is going to come in uh, valuable. And we've had the score master on the show again. Oh, how many times have we had it? Oh, was it yesterday we had that on, Joe? Uh, yes, we did. So what we're going to do is we're just going to extend where that, that, that's where it goes to and we're just going to extend it down that little bit extra and I'm going to do the same with this part. I'm just going to extend that line a little bit more uh, and you can see now you've got that extended part. I'm just going to fold that in and I'm just going to grab my bone folder for a second. Just uh, it's to on give this, this show, that score, Master Debbie, as well. So if you want to grab it, you can get it Fantastic. in the show right now. Fantastic. So there we go. So I'm just going to give these an extra burnish. Now, on one part of this, to create your pop-out, you're just going to fold those bits down. Can you see all those score lines are being put in for you? I'm just going to give it an extra burnish, though, with my uh, bone folder, and that just gives it a nice, crisp uh, line. So that's for one of them. I'm just going to do exactly the same with the other one, which is what I'm just going to do is extend it, Joe. But this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep myself a stiff back if that makes any sense. And I'll, okay, okay. I'll explain a little bit more in a moment. Let me just move that onto my black line then I can see where I'm going. There we go, down we go. And then I'm folding that part in again. This time though, all I'm doing is folding one of those pieces and I'm gonna keep this straight so that I've got a nice uh, pop-up back. So I'm gonna move my score master for a moment. Oops, knocking all my plates down, Joe. So I'm keeping that, so that one goes down so it keeps that flap, but that one's staying upright and that's gonna be the back of the box. Now then, talked about this die being the tabs. Um, you're gonna cut this out. Now you need to cut these out three times. I'm saying three because in here, you'll see we've got three score lines here. Please don't be tempted to pop a, a cut line through and, and snip them through. Keep them nice and neat by popping them on the inside of your box. And I'm gonna show you a little top tip on how you can put these together. So they're all ready to go. I've got my three pieces here and the, so you've got your two score lines in as well. I'm gonna fold one in and one up. And that's the way that I like to have it. So it looks like a little Z. So I don't know if you can see there. Let me just see if I can. Little can Z. See that. That's it. And you do that on all three of those. And this just makes it a little bit easier when you're folding it over as well. So I've got awesome. all the three ready. Loads of people are talking about the favourite cakes as well. Keep letting us know. Um, a lot of love for carrot at the moment. A lot carrot of people cake. talking about fruit. A lot of people talking about loving fruit in cake, but nowhere else, Debbie. <laughs> So let me know what your favourite ones are in the comments and we'll go through some of them. Uh, uh, mine change all the time. At the minute, it would be like a... It's not even really cake, is it? But I really have a craving for like a chocolate eclair. Ooh, mm. now nice. Nice choice. 
<coughs> excuse me joe right so what we're going to do is we're going to stick this box bit together so these are the bits now you can use red liner tape you can use wet glue if that's your choice just remember if you're using wet glue to let it dry uh, but my choice for this one and for this show is it's going to be using my tape runner pen right so excuse me a minute joe i need to just grab a quick drink because i've got a little tickle oh don't you worry about that um lots of you chatting away still uh, susan russian says uh, i don't really make new year's resolution however my goal is to make a card every day which i have stuck to 17 days in 17 cars made wow good going susan that's amazing absolutely amazing that's fantastic right now joe these are folded in and these are the bits that are going to fold in as well so this is going to create my box part here now i'm going to pop a little bit of tape just onto this edge here so let's just pop that tape down and then what we're going to do is we're going to attach these three pieces in now the score lines are in there for you to put your um tabs in quite easily so you're just going to pop them on and line them up with each one so i'm just going to do that for each of these but i am going to put a bit on each side so one on the inside one on the outside and again i'm going to do that i don't know if you can see let me see if i can get that in better shot for you there you go and then just the same again on either end and then on the inside of that one as well and we're going to attach these and i'm going to do this before we close the box up it was a little top tip our jan gave me oh, made life so much easier it really did when i was putting these in i was trying to do it on air inside out upside down and it would just go <laughs> it's just difficult to do so what i'm just doing joe is i'm lining that score line up and each one of those in and then they're off you notice they're all going the same way as well so i'm just going to pop that down let's make sure i've got that lined up there we go so all lined up ready now to put together and i'm just going to show you the best way that you can do this now i'm going to pop this piece let's just move that there for you for a second i'm just going to pop this side now this is the other long edge and if you've noticed i'm not putting tab to tab it is that straight edge that's going to go on the inside there and again taking care for these inside score lines to be on the inside of your box so i'm just going to hold that down and literally put that up flush to the box there we go awesome. and then now i'm ready i'm going to pop a little bit of tape just onto this flap as well so we're going to pop a little bit of tape just down there and then what we're going to do joe make sure everything's sticking down okay so what we're going to do is now we're going to just fold this over and this is why these pieces are a little bit easier to do because what you're going to do is and let me see if i can do it this way so you can see it a little bit better i'm going to lift that up and i'm going to match that one up to there there we go second one on the line as well making sure you don't get yourself stuck stuck up let's pop that there that one there and then lastly the other one on there we go just give them a nice little rub there can you see me with a finger just rubbing that on and then what you're going to do is make sure you don't stick it to the floor uh, to the to the um to the glass mat but what you're going to do is just fold it down and then literally those will fold over let me just make sure i've got that right joe Make sure I've got me three, yeah, that way, that's it. And then just fold that over. So that, that little tab is going to go to that straight edge again. And just make sure it's nice and burnished. Give it a nice good feel. And there you go. You've got your three into your box instantly, straight away, done and dusted and nice and easy. But what you have got, Joe, is you've got the t the, all the bits that flap down, so your pop-up element, but you've got a nice stiff back. So when you lift it up, it folds lovely and flat. Awesome. And like I said... If you want to give it an extra burnish so that it's got that extra pop-up, let me see if I can find it. Oh, it's there. Awesome. Just right. give it nice well, burnishes there, right. nice crease lines. Before you get your, your box decorated, I'll try to do yep. a few comments. Should we go through these cakes that everyone's talking about, Debbie? Oh, yes, definitely. So, Crystal Miller says, I love a chocolate cake with peanut butter icing off. Yum. Uh, Jane says glazed donuts. I don't, I'm not sure a donut's a cake, but to be fair, if I said that I was going to, mine was going to be an eclair, I guess yours could be a donut at the end of the day. Um, Helen says red velvet cake. Do you know what? Oh, yummy. I always feel a little bit let down by red velvet cake. Why? It is chocolate cake, isn't it? But it's just red. But I don't is know it not got a flavour to it then? It's just, it's, just, it's just red chocolate cake. But I always want it to be something else. I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, Jan says her favourite cake is a sacatour, uh, especially if eaten in Vienna. Tell you what, Jan is a, a very, very classy lady. A Sasha tour. It was uh, first invented at the Sh Sasha Hotel in Vienna, and it is a, uh, a very dense Genoese chocolate sponge with marmalade and a um, chocolate ganache over the top. I only know because I've made one, and then you pipe Sasha over the top of it. It was a challenge on the Great British Bake Off a few years ago. Jan, absolutely delicious. Uh, Deborah said, carrot cake is my favourite cake. 
Ray is saying as well, and mine's a homemade carrot cake with real cream cheese icing. What I ask for every single year. Uh, the only fruit I can eat in cake is strawberries, uh, apparently, according to Rosalind. Uh, Paula says, I love banana split cake. It's a yellow cake layered with sliced bananas, pineapple chunks, chopped nuts, maraschino, cherries, vanilla filling, and lots of whipped cream. Definitely not for dieters, honestly. Sounds like it as well. Monica says, I love angel food cake with fresh sliced strawberries and whipped cream. My favorite birthday cake for every year. Uh, my mum's made it for me every day since I was little. Michelle says, you two are so much fun. Just made me uh, to watch. Just made some fresh cinnamon buns. Oh, and sitting here in upstate New York and still laughing. Best tip ever, Debbie. When I was first taught to make these, the insiders put the box in after uh, much uh, less challenging. A yes. chocolate Swiss roll for Debbie, R Richard. Evelyn says she loves a tray leche cake. A tray leche, that sounds funny. Uh, and Ab says banana and walnut cake as well. Whatever cake you like. It's Sundays. So, um, Sunday, I think you can eat cake. I don't think calories count on Sunday, do they, Debbie? Definitely not. No. Definitely yeah, not. you can just eat what you want on a Sunday. I think that's the way it goes. Let me run you through the everyday options that you've got in here. So, firstly, uh, what we've got here is the Ocean Paradise, uh, as you'll see, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, this has got all of that lovely sort of underwater scene on there. Uh, you've got those mermaids in there as well, which is absolutely brilliant, as you can see there. Then what we've got as well is, let's show you the Back to Nature, because I really, really love uh, this Back to Nature collection. Uh, it really is fantastic. You've got those lovely trees in there. There's something quite, I don't know. It reminds me of like a national park almost, but like in California, not like, not the Peak District. I'm not getting Peak District vibes. I'm getting, you know, uh, you know, 100 year old tree vibes from it. That's what I'm getting. You've got fairies as well. You can never have too many fairies in your life. Uh, so you've got that one there, which is awesome. You've also got the birthday one. You know, we all are making lots of birthday projects. That's so great that we've got you covered there as well. <gasps> Talking about all the, oh hello, talking about all the cake in our life today, how about a lovely vintage tea party? That is an awesome one that you've got there. And then we've also got as well the floral bouquet one too. So if you want to go for those, you can go for them as one collection, which as always is the best way to get the best value. Uh, 67 pounds or 88 dollars becomes 53.60 or 70 dollars 40 as a club member which is absolutely awesome value for money or you can mix and match across the everyday ones with the christmas ones any two for 26 pounds or 35 dollars um, i'd love to see some pictures of the pop-up boxes that you guys have already been making uh, and you have made and given get them into me by emailing studio at craftscompanion.co.uk is where you need to send those to right debbie back to you you know, talking to all these cakes, Joe, literally my belly is rumbling like that. Oh, it's not, I've not had any lunch yet, have you? No, no, it'll be on the way back now to Peter where I have some lunch. It'll be a quick call in, won't it? That's not great takeaway. At where? It's a very healthy eating establishment and just pick something nice and healthy up. No, it's going to be a drive through isn't it? It's going to be a drive through yeah, it's all right. <laughs> but for the hours. Now then, we're going to start decorating. We've done the work part of the box. We've got that all ready. What we're going to do is all that decoration. Now, this is just where you can go to town. You can mix and match as well. Do you know some of those collections? You could have a little bit of both in there. Um, I've gone for a little girly theme here because I've gone for the Ocean Paradise. Love mm. the Ocean Paradise absolutely beautiful and you can see you've got all of those i mean look two gorgeous mermaids and all the extra little bits to what's going to make all the embellishment fun part so you've got a set of stamps and then you've got a set for each single one you've got a set of corresponding dies that are going to cut these out and i just think this is great but can i tell you what else is great about these sets joe you're going to be able to use these in your card making. You're going to be able to use them if you love scrapbooks and you want to make a little scrapbook for you and your granddaughters or anything like that or your grandsons. You can do that and you can add these and just use them as dies and stamps and colour in with. You could get the kids involved as well, which I think is a great idea. I can't wait for our sapphire to come in and come into the craft room when I get it all sorted. But I'm going to have a little desk for her and she can come in and, and come and craft with her nana. Oh, that'd when be great. When a bit bigger, he can too. No, I'm not discriminating. Craft is great for kids. Uh, and these are brilliant for that. So get the kids involved as well. Now, what I'm just going to do is a little bit of a cheat. I'm going to I'm going to pretend I've done some stamping already. So let's put that just over there for a second. So a little bit of a cheat. And do you know what else we've got on the show? We've got the fabulous dry blend. Ah, oh, fabulous! Yeah, woohoo! We've 
we've got some lovely tri-blends. So the tri-blends, so I had the tri-blend brush pens on yesterday, which were the brush version. These are the original, the OG. Now you've told me what the OG means though. Original gangster. The original I'm gangster. never going to get that out of my head now. I thought it was just like an original. That's what I thought it meant. No. Now I've found out it means something completely different. It does indeed. <laughs> we, we, we still keep using it. They're available in their six-piece collections. There's lots of them. I'll go through them for you in a little while, Debbie. Uh, but they're 19.99 each or 29.95. Any two for 35 pounds or 50 dollars uh, on the original. Um, your original, the OG, the, the OG tribe and markers, as Debbie. Debbie, so street these days. Uh, calls them, uh, but they really are. Fantastic. And the bullet nib, I guess, is exactly what you need for this kind of detailed work. These are lovely to work with as well because they have got that bullet nib. So it means you've got all that lovely fine detail, but you've got the same colour family where you've got your light, your medium and your dark. So it means you can get that beautiful blending. Uh, you can get that when, you, when you're talking about your shading to get your dimension. Um, absolutely beautiful, this. It's just so easy to use. And you just start with the lightest colour and then go in with the next one, the medium. And then you go to the dark. Anybody else like me when I make sure my pen when I put it back is in the right place? Does that make any sense? I, I like it nice. I've got a little bit of OCD when it comes to my pens, making sure that I can see me like my medium, my dark. Oh, they have to, yes. So when that I, I'm not... Whenever I look at them and take them out to show them here, if then it does, it irks me if they're not all facing the same way, Debbie. Exactly. I'm mm, glad I'm not the only one, Joe, because I've started to think I'm a little bit weird like that, but um, just it's just the way I am with them. Absolutely love these. Now then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just carry on going back in and then this is when you can start building up and I have a play with them. But this is all sorts of colours, Joe. I'm going to let you go through the colours. I'm going to cheat a little bit again because I'm going to start bringing in the ones that I've coloured in and use the dies because like I said to you, these dies, once you've coloured them in, you're going to place the die over the top and you're going to run these through your machines. Now these are uh, great dies that will go through your mini machine, small as your mini, right up to the big one itself as well. So you're literally going to place those over, run them through and that includes all these small ones as well joe because every single one has got oh, its wow. own corresponding die you don't have to do any more fussy cutting anymore because these stamps and die sets i just think are great to have because i mean i do love a bit of fussy cutting from time to time uh, but i won't want to do it all the time joe so these die sets are absolutely fabulous for that but when you start to color in and have a little color in look this is what you end up achieving all your beautiful, beautiful. Uh, and like i said get your kids involved the kids would absolutely love these but i'm just going to show you all the ones that I've been there uh, colouring in and cutting out but look at all these lovely little features and I don't know if you can see them up above let's see if we can see them up above thank you very much Beautiful. lovely you can see now I've got all these elements to start decorating uh, my box with and that's exactly what we're going to do I've even gone and used one of the Go make some waves. I want to burst into a northern oh, song. I love that. that. But I said that. Right, there we go. So I'm going to move those to one side and we're going to start building up the decoration. Now, also on that worker element die, there are two dies that are going to prove to be useful when it comes to decorating. Now, we've got a fantastic paper pad on the show. But you can use these for anything you want, Joe. So I'm just going to show you, because I've already stuck my mat and layers together, but you create the perfect mat and the perfect fit for your um, box that fits awesome. in the boxes. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the words. So that one fits perfectly around that edge, and this one fits perfectly over the flap so you don't have any hard work to do at all again with that jar. I just think it's absolutely brilliant. Don't know what's happened to this one. I think I've, um, <clears throat> I'll just move that to one side for a second, Joe, because I think uh, when I've stuck them on before we started the show, I've got uh, I've got it all stuck together. Right, I'm going to put one in the back. This is going to strengthen that back as well. So what I'm going to use is wet glue to get that into place. You could, if you wanted, decorate all your inside of your box I'm chucking all sorts down here. Um, you could decorate the inside of your box before you actually put it together if you wanted to do that to make it a bit easier as well. Uh, that's just another little top tip. Because I'm using wet glue, it gives me the ability to wiggle it into place. And that's what I love about our all-purpose glue. You'll hear me use, uh, well, I do, I use it ever such a lot. Every time I craft, I think I use all-purpose glue. Uh, but it just gives me that wiggle time to get it into its place. And then we're going to decorate all these areas too as well so i'm going to decorate my um my tabs awesome um someone said online andre, andre says uh, cheesecake's her favorite cake 
Is cheesecake a cake though? I don't think it is. Um, no, yeah, definitely. It's got I mean, cake what in is the there. definition? What is the definition of cake? Now then, have you see, I think a cake has got sponge in it. Yes. Whereas yeah. a cheesecake hasn't. Definitely doesn't have change. <laughs> it, you know, it's got the word cake in it as well. But layer cake, which is um, a layer cake, which you can get in for sewing, which is a sort of a collection of fabrics that doesn't have cake in it, but has also got the word cake in it. So I rest my case. Jaffa cake. Our Laura was saying that's not a cake. Yeah. It's a biscuit. Well, it, I I don't think it is a biscuit. You're kidding me. No, because it's, it's, it's a sponge. It's a cake. No. Yes. No. A Jaffa uh, cake is not also, a cake. Uh, it's not a biscuit. Biscuit comes from the Italian word biscotti, <laughs> uh, which originates in, and it means twice or to cook twice. So therefore to make a biscuit crispy, whereas a cake is a sponge. Mm -hmm. I mean, do you guys have Jaffa cakes in the US? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure you guys do. But uh, <laughs> even down so to that they said that a, um, for in taxation laws as well, a Jaffa cake is identified as a biscuit apparently, not as a cake. So who knows? <laughs> Wendy loves a lemon drizzle cake. Lend it. Wendy, you're a woman after my own heart. Stace is an upside down pineapple cake. Delicious. Oh, Devil's, now we're talking. Devil's, now food, we're talking. Devil's food cake. Not heard of that one before. Devil's e food cake. Yeah. Um, Evelyn Torres of Ferrara lets me know that a tray leche is a sponge cake soaked in three types of milk. Sweetened milk, condensed milk and evaporated milk. Um, Sonia says she thought a cheesecake was a pie. Now, it's definitely not a pie, <laughs> but what you guys call a... <laughs> yeah. Hey, I love oh, this I mean, talk. It's got... yeah. But a pie for you guys, a pie here is only a pie if it has pastry on the top. If it doesn't have pastry on the top, it's just a tart. Well... <clears throat> but in the US, a pie is just, even if it's just got pastry around the bottom, it's a pie, apparently. Um, cheesecake is cake, apparently, Joe. Uh, and a Boston cream pie is also a cake. I'm confused. You've confused me, Joe. Uh, what, what on earth is a Boston cream pie? That's what I want to know. Let me know in the comments. Um, it's <laughs> right. really, really busy, Debbie, on those everyday ones and also on those tri -blends. I'll remind you of both very shortly. Now then, Joe, I've decorated all the inside and all the outside of my box. It's all good to go. What I'm doing now is I'm going to use some acetate. Now, I've used the heavyweight acetate here, and I've cut little strips up uh, using our guillotine to cut some little strips up there because I want to have a little bit of a floaty effect going off with some of the elements in here. So I'm going to stick in. Now, this is when you're going to use, do you know those tabs inside your box? You're going to now use this to decorate up. Now, I'm going to use, again, tape, but again, you can use whatever it is you want to pop on uh, to stick you know to stick this on whether it be red liner tape it is entirely up to you what you're going to do now is just construct where you put them now I am doing this literally back to front so please excuse me I'm going to use the camera as my um, working uh, working way to do this because this is not the normal way I would decorate a box if I was at home if I was at home I would be taking me time of, oh look do they look cute already just by adding a couple in there so yeah if I were at home I'd be having this face in me Another thing you could do though, Joe, as well, you could actually decorate your tabs before you put them in the box if you want to. I prefer this method though, just because um, just because you, you've got a bit more control on where you're putting things when you start to add it afterwards. Now I'm just gonna attach my little um, jellyfish. I nearly forgot what they were then. It is jellyfish. jellyfish, isn't it? Yeah. I'm just gonna attach those to these uh, to these acetate strips. So when again, I lived in uh, when I was a kid growing up, um, Debbie, I used to live in a place called Canvey Island. Ooh, that it was, sounds it's nice. an, it just sounds exotic, doesn't it? Sounds beautiful, it's yeah. It's an island in the Thames Estuary. Oh. Uh, and it's literally just separated from the mainland by a mud flat, so it really isn't that as exotic <laughs> as it sounds. And it also sits below sea level as well, so it has a big wall all the way around it to keep the water out. Well, I uh, never. But uh, we usually used to go swimming, because it has a beach that was like, well, it was all one big beach surrounding it. Uh, and we used to go, there was always so many jellyfish in the water, we used to get stung all the time, Debbie. Ooh, not ooh, not nice ouch. at all. Ouch, maybe ouch, someone, maybe people, is anyone watching from Canvey Island? Let me know. Oh, that, you know, that'd be nice to know. I it would be. It could be. I, I got on a, I went out to a, um, I went to the 
races to see a concert a few years ago and the woman who sat behind me on the coach to go back into town to get the train, she was from Canby Island and her kids went to the same school that I went to, uh, which was really um, a coincidence. Now that's and it turns out that all these years later, I think it was three years ago, it's the same headmistress, Mrs Yallop, is still no there way. at the school. No way. Yeah. That is, that's that is really it's just a small world to start with the fact that you went to the same school but my goodness that's crazy the same head teacher yeah and you're only young you aren't you joe sorry you're only young you're not very old are you i'm 34 do you know the other day debbie oh go on the other day for some reason i thought i was 32 <laughs> i don't know why i was talking about how old it was in my head to myself obviously i was doing something i was like yeah because i'm 32 and debbie i thought i was 32 for like a good four hours i don't know why Bless you. So in my head i thought i was 32 and then all of a sudden i was like what are you talking about you're 34 i lost two years like that i was devastated <laughs> devastated i think i'd counted the wrong way from 33 that was what had happened is that what it was? Yeah. And uh, do you know me? You tell me old. I do you know me. I completely forget what I am. I have to think about me year I was born and then work it out from there. Do you? I do now, yeah, because I've got past a certain age. <laughs> <laughs> I struggle. I really struggle. Now that you're over forty, old I am. you uh, you have to uh, work it out like that. <laughs> I'm not telling you that. You I know you're not telling me how old you are. <laughs> I'm not telling you how old I am. I don't want anybody to not mind you. I'm not ashamed. I'm 52. I'm a, wait a minute. I'm a 52. Oh, you look what fabulous. What are you doing? Wait a minute. We're in 2021. Oh, yeah, I am 52 then. Oh, my <laughs> days. I can't believe I can't. I can't believe I forgot how old I were. Uh, yes, I'm yeah, 52. I know. I'm 53 I was, this year. was flabbergasted when I worked out when you... I found out that you were 50, Debbie, which is when we started Aww. working together. I couldn't believe it. I think you look brilliant. <laughs> you smooth talker, you. I love you, Joe. I love you. Oh, I love you, you're too. You're my favourite, Joe. You're my favourite. <laughs> <laughs> now um, then, can you see I've done a little bit of decoration in the box, but what I need just to add, and I've, do you know what? I've, do you know what? I keep putting things down on my counter, and I'm, I'm losing stuff. I think it's my bat wings again. I think my bat wings are getting in the way. You are <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm you blowing take off. everything <laughs> blowing everything away um but you've got these lovely tags that were in there that come in handy for things like your sentiments as well so i think i'm going to put that on the bottom i was going to stick it at the top at first but i thought no i'm i'm going to pop it on that bottom uh, tab there and i'm just going to add it with a um foam pad let's pop the foam pad on uh, i've just got a couple of more little decorations to do because i want to add a, um, a fish on there let's see if i can get that right i'm just going to turn it around for a second joe just to make sure i've got it right uh, but there again we could add add a few little extra elements uh, that you've got in there so i've got a little fish i've got a little um what they call them seahorses is that right sea oh horses. yes yeah i'm gonna add a love a seahorse sea love a seahorse but these are gorgeous honestly this is the fun bit of it that you're gonna have is just literally just decorating it to make up your lovely pop-out box and i could i could carry on adding more and more to it but what you can be guaranteed is you fold it up joe and look it folds flat absolutely awesome. love it but i love it when you open it up and it just pops out it's like an explosion of um beautifulness in there uh, but i do love this one this is gorgeous for any little girl um or anybody to be fair anybody who loves a mermaid there you go, Joe. First mm. one underway. Absolutely brilliant. Love that. Uh, first one done. I'd love you to send me in some pictures of the ones that you've been making and creating as well, because I know so many of you, hundreds, uh, if not thousands of you, have already got these. So please, if you made some, send us some in, and I'd love to see them. Studio at craftscompanion.co.uk. Yvonne wants to know, could you use acetate for the inside tabs instead of cardstock so it would look like there was nothing inside. That is a cracking idea. Who mentioned that one? It was Yvonne mentioned Yvonne, that. Yvonne, you absolutely can. Don't forget, this is a die cut. What a great tip, Yvonne. Then it looks like it's floating inside a pop-up box. You can use them. Um, you just need to make sure you've got your burn, good burnished score lines on those two little ends What I've got the, the folds. Make sure they've been burnished perfect. Absolutely gorgeous. I love the idea, Yvonne. Thank you for sharing with us. Awesome. Love it. Uh, right, I want to take you through the tri blends that we've got available on the show for you. So, uh, options here for you. This one is your floral blend, uh, and in there you're going to get bright pink, lavender, purple, 
got dark red, orange, and you've got the citrus in there as well. Now they're 19.99 each or 29.95. Any two of them for 35 pounds or 50 dollars, which is brilliant. Uh, you've got your portrait blends, which has in here your coral. You've got your pale pink, fair skin, gold brown, tan blend, and the earth. You've also got your vintage. Now that's got vintage blue, uh, antique pink, dusty, pur dusty purple. Dusty purple sounds like a funny, it sounds like a drag queen, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Red brown, yellow green, muted brown. This one here uh, is jade green, uh, is your woodland, sorry. It's got jade green, gold brown, tan shades, brown grey, earth brown, and the ice grey in here as well. Then you've got your natural blends, and this is light yellow, citrus green, dull green, hydrangea blue, uh, sorry, hydrangea blend, ice grey, and the brown grey. You've then got this one. Now, this is your exotic. I really love this one. You've got burnt orange, aqua blue, gold yellow, pink violet, alpine green, and magenta. This is your coastal blends. Now, that one's going to have ice blue, blue turquoise, true blue, light green, jade green, and the green turquoise. And this one here, your jewel shade. So this is dark red, true blue, coral, your bright pink, blue turquoise, and the pale pink as well. Awesome. Now, always popular on those. And the great thing about these six packs that I love is that they um, are in themes, which is good. So it's awesome to allow you to um, just maybe dip your toe in if it was. Now, I know we've got the Rocker Blocks on the show as well. These are always busy whenever we bring these to you. Perfect for stamping, perfect for these smaller stamps as well that you'll see in these collections. Now you've got here everything you need. So if you've got the more smaller ones, so you've got this uh, collection just here, these are also coming as well with the larger one too. So it is that one just there. So you can see you get all six of them, 9 99 or 13 99 if you want to get your hands on those. Right, I wanna run you back through what is included in the large collection. So we're gonna look firstly at the everyday one. So you've got the birthday in there, remember? This is that one that you're gonna to go to time and time again that you're gonna use every single time. You've also got the floral bouquet in here as well. Mrs. Bouquet of the house, not Mrs. Bucket. Uh, you've got the fairies here too. These are awesome. I'm, gonna, I'm thinking these are gonna be awesome for uh, little girls, cards. And uh, these are gonna be the things, I mean, if you receive one of these as a birthday card or you know you would leave it out wouldn't you it'd be the sort of thing that you wouldn't put away you've also got once upon a time which is this one just here with your um, princess and your carriage and your unicorns and all of that this one is your tea party which i just think is absolutely gorgeous then we've got the back to nature as well as well as last but by no means least uh, you've got the mermaids as well in that underwater adventure there as well. Now, whether you're going for the um, everyday ones or for the Christmas ones, uh, you can mix and match across the two collections, which is awesome. So any two of them for £26 or $35. Let me share with you uh, the Christmas ones that we've got. And I mean, they're Christmas ones. I think you could absolutely use these all year round. So you've got your gingerbread one, which is this one just here, which is brilliant. I mean, it's loads of fun. Uh, it is Christmassy, but absolutely you could use it all year round. You've then got this one here, which is your um, Christmas cottage, which I love. You've also got as well your poinsettias, and that's gonna be great. I think you could definitely use that one all year round. Just by coloring those poinsettias in a different color, uh, would make it look very, very different. We've then got the snowman as well. I've only got board for the snowman, which is this one here. This is historically your favorite from the Christmas collection, and it is still your favorite today as well. Um, I'm gonna show you my um, nativity -less, my, um nativity <laughs> one just here. <laughs> I must get it off of, you have a look at that, I'm gonna run and get the other one from Debbie, um, <laughs> because I need to see you here. I mean, because it's all just donkeys and sheep, that one. Thank you, Debbie. <laughs> Um, <laughs> let me just uh, share with you what this should look like. So here you go. This one you can see a bit more conventional uh, now. Uh, there we are. Uh, so yes, that's what you're getting in there. Uh, and again, you can mix and match across all of them. Uh, right. A fifth of this Christmas collection is gone. The only way to get the Away in a Manger is in the Christmas collection. It's the only one you, you, you cannot 
mix and match with. Now, no matter which one of the collections you are going for, or if you're going for the multi-buy, you do need the worker die, which is going to do all the work for you. So this is the bit that is going to create that and construct that box element uh, for you, which is awesome. So it means that uh, you can then start to add all those awesome things in there. You've got tags in there. You've got those stays in there, which are going to make sure you've got something to stick those beautiful little characters onto. And also the dies in the correct sizes to embellish the panels. So uh, it's important that you get this $24.99 or $39.95. Also, don't just think about using the stamps and dies that are on the show today. Think about incorporating all of your other smaller stamps and dies that you may have uh, and bringing them into this collection, which is a great way to use them. Right, Debbie, uh, back to you. What do you fancy sharing with us next? Thought we'd go a bit Christmassy. Yeah, that one, let's. That one, one of Christmas. Uh, I'm going to use the away in the manger, but I am going to put Mary and Joseph in there. Um, so let me just remind myself where I've got it. We're going bigger, Joe. We're going to go bigger. So I'm, you know, I'm I've put my bag down here and just end up tripping over it. Did you see me? I nearly went that way. <laughs> but yeah, honestly, this is a gorgeous one. And I'm going to show you that that worker die again can go from the smallest, which I think is about four and three quarter inches but you can go as large as you want. Now, this is what I call a medium size one. It's actually an eight inch. That's what size it is when you, when you pop that up. It's the size of an eight inch card. Awesome. It's absolutely fabulous. And I do love a good old Christmas scene. I don't know about you, Joe, but it's just, I just love it. Now, when it comes to that worker element again, now, I thought about this and I thought, shall I just keep showing you how to cut this? But I thought, do you know what? I'll just explain. Cut your cardstock to your eight, eight centimetres, uh, not eight centimetres, that'd be tiny, eight inches. So I've got an eight inch, and this is eight inches by just over eight inches this way as well. And what you're going to do with that worker element die again, Joel, I just bring it into shot so you can see it again. I've got the tape still on there. Uh, you're going to pop it in. Now, to extend it again, if you want an eight inch one, take it right up to the very top, tape it down and then run that through your Gemini. Now, you can run through two pieces at any one time, okay? So I'll do that in one of the other demonstrations, but run that through your Gemini, and when that comes through, you will end up with two pieces that have now got their cut lines in place and the score lines, but we just need to extend the score line. So again, you're going to bring in your score master. If I just pop that down, always handy to have a black line there for, for these kind of purposes, but you pop it onto your board, and you're going to use this as the grid to to pop this down and all you're going to do joe is you're going to extend your line which it stops there you're going to bring your tool and you're going to carry that on straight down so you know you've got a nice crisp line going there and we need to do it with this side as well joe so if i just move it along you need it to come past this mark which is this that that up to there would be your four and three quarters this one now obviously is an eight and this is what i'm saying about you can just extend it make sure you've got a nice crisp score line take care though not to go too heavy handed debbie's done that in the past uh, where she's got a little tad heavy handed um <coughs> and gone through my cardstock so just be careful so all you're doing is following that line on from where it stops you're just going all the way down and you're going to use your scoreboard to help you with this and then you're going to make sure you've got those nice score lines burnished really nice and easy and again you're just going to fold it in if you just move that for a second pop that back down there Make sure I don't put that one in my car like I did earlier. <gasps> did I tell you, Joel? I tried to pinch this. I tried to pinch the scoreboard again. What do you mean again? You always what do you mean stuff? again? You. Well, I had mine, and don't forget I had me writing on with my name on. Well, I went to go and cut Carl, <laughs> and I thought, why have I got two scoreboards in my boot? <gasps> Realised <laughs> I've got the studio one. So you could have blamed me for that then, Joe. Oh, but... no doubt I have already, several oh. times, while you've been <laughs> off, no doubt. Well, I remembered last minute, I thought, no, Debbie, you can't pinch that, you can't pinch that. <laughs> so, plus Craig needs it later, so no. Uh, right, so what we're going to do is give it a nice burnish, give him a, 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 you know, get your bone folder and give him a nice good crease. And then don't forget, these pieces come in, so the, the, uh, the tabs that connect your box come in, as does this one, you fold it inwards, but these you fold outwards, so you're folding down on the outside on both of those and again nice crisp score line we're using your bone folder to give it that lovely uh, lovely feature but you can see now you've got half of that so you do need the two elements and that's exactly the same but can you remember what i said joe about this back piece keep one of them nice and straight to act as the back part of your box but again you're just going to repeat that so we're going to fold that in we're going to give it a burnish we're going to fold that one in 
we're going to give it a burnish. But this is the time when you're only going to fold one over. Unless you wanted a pop-up box all the way around. Because you could do. All right. So there we go. So we've got those pieces ready. And then again, that worker element has the tabs on there as well. Fold one in, one up. One in, one up. One in, one up. And you've got your three there. Okay. So what we're going to do, Joe, is we're going to do that connecting part again. I'm going to do it this time, though. I'm going to put my me, um, me box, one, one layer of my box. Might make it a bit easy for myself. I think I made it a bit difficult last time. Bit of glue. What's the best glue for acetate, actually? You know, just leading on from talking about doing acetate tabs, um, Enchanted Craft Fairy actually asked, what's the best glue for acetate? So, so the best glue to stick down any of, like, this is super strong adhesive. So let's not forget this is super strong adhesive super strong adhesive so this one's absolutely fine for acetate red liner tape is finger lift tape is as well your wet glues and your tacky glues you're going to have to hold into place until they've took hold so personally myself this is just a personal thing uh, it's either a tape runner or a um, red liner tape or finger lift tape that's that's what i would personally use now i'm going to just now got i've got my glue on this inside flab a flab what's a flab what's a flab it's i don't a know a, a, a tab a tab, a tab. <laughs> <laughs> That's the word I'm looking for, a tab. So I've got it on the inside of the tab and I'm going to use the straight edge here to marry that up. And don't forget, mate, taking care that these score lines are on the inside of your box. So again, we're just going to pop that down and make sure it's nice and flush. Because if it's not nice and flush, um, Joe, you're going to end up with a wonky box. Oh, you don't want a wonky box. You don't want it's a wonky box because it makes it difficult then. Uh, and again, just make sure you give it a nice old burnish on the inside. Now what we're going to do is put those tabs in. So again... I'm going to get me glue ready, though, on this one, though, Joe. Get me glue ready down on this inside tab. But then I'm going to bring in my three tabs and I'm going to stick those down into place beforehand. And when you fold that over, you can see you can either fit it onto this side of the tab or this side. I personally put it on the inside of this uh, score line. So I'm going to do that again with these. Bit of glue on each side. Awesome. Uh, lots of you still chatting away in the comments. Uh, Kathy saying how much she loves your car. Jean Marie sent us in a picture, so hopefully we'll try and dig that out. Uh, Pamela says don't really make that many pop-up cards, but all the shapes and images are great for flat cards as well, which is a really good point. You know, take all of these stamps and dies, use them on your two-dimensional cards. Also, uh, at the same time, uh, people are talking about other uh, collections, Debbie, that are great to use with the pop-up boxes. Apparently, all the characters in the spinner cards uh, work <gasps> great as well, oh, um, wow. was oh, what wow. Diane Quinter was saying. That is a lovely idea, Joe. I like that idea. That's fab. Um, yeah, Enchanted Craft is very as well. So it's a great idea to use any stamps and dies. I think the one from the Advent calendar may work nicely as well, or even complements the sets that go into uh, the pop-up boxes. Absolutely. Whether you are going for just the worker die on its own, uh, and you're going to use these stamps and dies that you already have, or you're going for the whole lot and getting uh, a full collection as well as that worker stamp and die, uh, that worker die, sorry, then absolutely. There's so many different options of going for this, uh, and it's up to you how you want to put them together. You've got two full collections, you've got mix and match, and then you've got the option to buy that worker die separately as well. Right, Joe, absolutely. Do you know, I love the ideas, the different ways that you can use this. So I've got many pieces now, and I'm just going to stick those inside tabs again just before I actually close my box together. Just makes it a little bit easier when you're popping these in because you can actually see it. Trying to do it when it's closed makes life a little bit difficult on yourself. So what I'm just doing is, I don't know if you can see, can we go to the side angle for a second there, George, if we can, just so I can show you. Let me see if I can turn that around. So you're getting these into place before you actually put your box together. It just makes life life a little bit easier and you can see where you're lining up on your score line as well and you can also go in and burnish it a little bit easier so it just make it a little bit diff uh, easier on yourself and then you've got this glue ready now to bring down to this straight edge so all you're going to do is fold it and just making sure you keep it nice and flush again and it makes a difference when you have a flush box because it makes it easier and you look Look how easy that was to put together. And then I've got all my worker elements. I've got my tabs inside, inserted. It just makes it easy. So if you try and remember to do it when it's open, um, and I'll always love Jan for that when she told, she said to me, Debs, you, you're struggling with yourself, and it's, it, sh it shows it a lot better how to pop mm, it together. Much easier, isn't it? So much easier to do Could it this you... way. Could you have one that face front and back and have that back flap down if yes. you wanted to and so, actually have them pointing both directions? Absolutely. So if you wanted this pop-up element to go down, by all means, pop it down and then you could have it all the way around so you could have it nice and open. Um, 
great i love that idea joe actually you can just bring it down and then you've got your pop-up box element but everyone will still fold up nice and flat awesome. it's a personal choice um i just prefer to have a nice stiff back so that i've got like a focal part but what a great idea that you've just said by popping that down absolutely why not oh i've got a stiff back at the moment Debbie. bless you i don't know what's going on <laughs> i got out of bed this morning and i was like oh oh <laughs> oh, along. Well, I'll tell you um, what, Joe, I'll, I'll just start decorating the inside yeah, and the outside of the box before I start putting me away in the manger. You don't want to see me doing all that little no, bit. All I'm, I'm going to say is, though, if you have extended your box and you want to just, just take your measurements from this to get your... You, you'll know that the box width doesn't change, it's just the depth that changes. So just bear that in mind when you're doing... You won't be able to use those dies. Do you know the dies that come with it? You won't be able to use the dies for the inside panels. You still, though, will be able to use them for the inside tabs here so it's just these panels that you need to do joe i'm going to decorate that bit up get that bit of boring bit out of the way uh, and then we'll come back and we'll do the away in the middle perfect okay whilst you're doing that i want to just run you through your favorites so far of the individuals uh, the everyday the um, full collection of the everyday is your favorite at the moment however of the individuals you can go for any two for 26 pounds or 35 dollars and that is across both of these collections so uh what we've got here is your gingerbread house you guys absolutely uh, love this one at the moment uh 14.99 or 19.95 of course um then you've also got the snowman as well uh, i think this was so popular someone must have Pinched all, one of our, all of our finished samples, Debbie. Is it you? Have you have you taken these again somewhere? <laughs> I know what you like. You've got you've got um, you got previous, Debbie. I'm, that's all I'm going to say. Uh, so you can go for that one if you want to. Or the birthday then is your other most popular item individually. So there you are uh, some of your most popular individual items. Don't forget as well about the paper pad. So I know it's been very, very busy on that paper pad. Uh, we've got that uh, available for you. Uh, it's the eight by eight size and it is the perfect size and also the perfect um, theme to go with your uh, pop-up boxes. 40% of the stock has gone here on this one. Uh, it's getting busier and busier and busier as we go through uh, this show. It's absolutely gorgeous. 48 sheets, 8x8, 180 GSM, uh, so it's really the perfect weight as well for you to mat and layer up onto your projects. Now, um, still busiest on the everyday collection. You guys absolutely love it. Remember what you're getting in there. Uh, you're getting Ocean Paradise, uh, Once Upon a Time, Vintage Tea Party, uh, I Believe in Fairies, Back to Nature. You've got Happy Birthday in here as well, as well as, of course, the Floral Boutique. They are absolutely gorgeous, and I think the great thing about it is you've got something for every occasion, which is awesome. Uh, £53.60 if you are a club member uh, and you want to go for these if you're a platinum member. Uh, $70.40, of course, if you want to go for them. But remember, any two across both collections for £26 or $35. We've got some customer images coming in, which we always love. We really love to see what you've been up to with these and how you have interpreted them. Uh, Betsy Black has sent this one in for us. Uh, I absolutely love that with the floral oh, that's gorgeous. bouquet. Really nice, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely gorgeous, that one, Betsy. Beautiful. And beautiful, also, beautiful. Uh, Susie T sent this next one in for us. I think Susie T has used some of the... Um, some of the dies from you know the milk the milk carton dies that we do you know the milk carton boxes that we yeah, did that had yeah, the bunting yeah. on them i think that's where that bunting is from and actually if you've got that collection you know the unicorn one and all of those they would work brilliantly with this uh, collection as well um check this next one out of all the unicorns on showing you that you can bring not unicorns flamingos. sorry how could i get my unicorns and my flamingos I know, our fiona would love that one she's flamingo mad she would absolutely love that beautiful um, really really lovely uh so think about bringing other collections in uh melissa's popped uh, this one together for us as well <gasps> love that with a oh. new baby theme oh that is absolutely gorgeous melissa i love that yeah that's just showing you that worker element joe where you can use it in mm. a different way beautiful absolutely, absolutely beautiful and look what she's done here as well she's uh used that base die and done a mickey mouse one <gasps> oh 
my goodness, I love that. Really that cool, isn't it? That is fabulous. Really, really cool. Uh, Evelyn has been super busy as well. Um, oh, I love what she's <gasps> done with embossing that oh. front panel to make it like ocean waves, Debbie. That's cute. That is absolutely good. It's one of my favourite embossing folders, that. That is beautiful. It's What clever, talented people we've got out there. It is fabulous, darling. It's beautiful, <laughs> that. Uh, Evelyn, absolutely gorgeous. Do you know what? Thank you for so much for sharing all your work. It really is lovely to see how other people interpret these. It's just fantastic. Love them. It really, really is awesome. Uh, now, uh, getting busier and busier and busier. Must say, Debbie, your yes. hair is looking uh, fabulous at the moment. Oh. So shiny, but also nice and uh, it's a really nice length. My, like because we're locked down now, aren't we? So all the hair just close again. <laughs> I feel like I sort of look like I've just, I look like I've slept in my car most days at the moment and my hair's getting that long. <laughs> but you're still a glamour, you're just such a glamazon still. What's going on? Well, I'm going to tell you, do you know when I got wind that Boris was going to be making his announcement? Yeah. I rung my hairdresser up because I had got an appointment on the Friday as we'd locked down before. Right. And I went to her, is there any way you can fit me in? Is there any way, please? And she said, come on, let's squeeze bless her little heart in, middle of in, night, night. She, in the middle of the night that she did yeah. this for me before lockdown actually happened so i was very grateful to her but i do tend to get one color and it's going to look like that way because we're not coming out this anytime soon uh, it'll be a la carte sainsbury's a la carte sainsbury's or any other any other retailer out there that hopefully with a bit of a tailwind they reckon maybe the end of february the, uh, the hairdressers might open again so let's hope so i mean i don't know if i'm just i don't know what i'm gonna look like by the end of february whereas normally i'd have my christmas haircut on the 24th of december <laughs> debbie uh this year foolishly i had it on the 19th of december the week before <laughs> christmas so now i haven't had my what's it well we're nearly a month in now that happened with me with my nails i thought well i'm off so i'm not going to bother i'll not bother i'll wait till new year got me appointment and then i can't remember the hair but completely forgot the nails so that's why we're nailless for a I bit got ve i did get very very close to shaving all of mine off in the last uh, in the first <laughs> lockdown but i'm glad i didn't uh, producer johnny shaved all of his off uh, and Sarah was most displeased. She didn't like it whatsoever. So, um, uh, yes, yes, we, we will see. We'll see how long it goes before we can get them cut, eh? Right, Joe. I'm all ready. I've decorated my box. My box panels are all on. Everything's ready and good to go. What we're just going to use now is that away in the manger. Now, every single one of these stamp sets are the same. You get a set of stamps. You get a set of matching dies so that when you uh, use them and colour them in, and you are going to colour them and you're going to have so much fun doing these, Joe, uh, you literally stamp them out so you've got each stamp stamped up and then you're going to take your die. Once you've coloured them in, you're going to take your die and you're going to use that over there. And then when you create this and have coloured it in you're going to have got your beautiful images look at the difference when you start to add your colours to them they're absolutely beautiful these and these are achieved by using your tri blends uh, and again look, look even the donkey look at the donkeys come to life a little bit then we've got these beautiful silhouette ones as well but because you've got the die you've got all these features that cut out you don't have to fussy cut a single thing you have got everything in, die cut, no fussy cut scissors, die cut elements all ready, all out, ready, good to go to start decorating up your image. And I've even got my little sheep now, I've kept my little sheep, I kept them white because I love the idea of those. But look how gorgeous that looks when you use that stamp and die set. But again, with your Christmas cards, this one's going to be a lovely die and stamp set that you're going to be able to take into your Christmas uh, cards rather than your pop-up boxes. So it's that multi-use uh, multi that you're going to get out of these, which I absolutely love. Now then, let me just find, where have I put me? Oh, it's there, my box. I've got my box ready. So what we're going to do now, Joe, is we are going to add all our pieces together. So what I'm just going to do is, let me pop that there so I can remember where I've put everything. Acetate, great little idea using the acetate. You can use your guillotine to cut these strips or you can just take your scissors and cut yourself a little strip. And I'm just going to cut myself because I want me... Uh, I want me oh, you're um, going to go for it with the acetate? This, are you going to attach them with the acetate? Acetate onto the back because I'm going to... Awesome. I'm going to have my little stable floating midair with oh, my Mary stable. and Joseph behind there. Do you want to make me another, a second one and I can put it over here with my donkeys? Yeah, uh, you <laughs> can. <laughs> <laughs> is that because you left me? I can't believe. I wonder where it is. Joe, I can be 
honest, I didn't notice. I just handed you one over and I never even opened it up. And I'm, just just, I'm just a stable shot. Do, well, do you know what, actually? Well, no, it's Joseph and Mary that are missing and the it's little baby Jesus because I've just all I've got is a my stable's empty. <laughs> I've just got just a, a, two donkeys and four sheep. There's a lot of sheep in there, uh, but yeah. Bless you. Now, I'm going to cut because I'm going to have the star floating in the air. So, this is my balm, but I'm just going to have a, I'm just going to pop my star. And again, I'm just going to use our tape just to attach to the back. Now, it's very difficult to see on camera, but I'm just attaching it to the back. And then I'm going to have that at the back of the uh, barn as well. So, I'm just going to chop my acetate down because I don't want it that long. Let's pop a little bit of tape just onto the back there. And I'm going to have this stuck on the back so it's floating in the air, the star of wonder. Make sure I've got oh, no shelving. There we go. Start of wonder. And then I'm going to have my little um, Herald Angel, whatever she's called. What is she called? Herald, Herald Little Angel? Yeah, it's Herald Angel, isn't Herald it? Angel. I'm not daft. Is, it, is that yeah, what it is? Gabriel. Gabriel. Uh -huh. you learn I've, been to, every I've, day. I've, I've been to Jerusalem. I should know all of this stuff, shouldn't I? Have you been to Jerusalem? Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow, lovely. I went while I was at Eurovision. Oh. <laughs> Why I did I not realise that Eurovision would be involved? <laughs> I went on a Eurovision coach trip to U to Jerusalem. Which How sounds wonderful! Like a, sounds like a sort of clash of two two sort of yeah uh, um, two different themes. But yeah, it was, <laughs> it was wonderful from an architectural point of view, Debbie. Oh, it was I bet it was incredible to I bet it walk around the walled city that, of Jerusalem. It's amazing. Absolutely. Now I'm going to build my scene up. Now again, I think I'm going to have to bring it this way, so we're going to have to go up front to show you this. Uh, but I'm just going to attach this to one of the back. I'm going to let me just uh, use that as a guide. Um, I'm going to, I'm on one can't say. Hang on a minute. There. We, wait a minute. Don't want a wonky barn. There oh, we are. Don't want a wonky barn. I don't want a wonky barn. No. That's all we need. No, I don't want a wonky barn. There. Does that look about straight? That'll do, George. That'll do. Your barn and looks that, straight to me. Fabulous. And then we're going to attach now Mary and Joseph and the little baby Jesus. Oh, ain't he cute? It's so, I just love, I just, there's something about this image that just depicts Christmas instantly. It's just absolutely beautiful. Um, and then we're going to start now adding all the extra elements. Do you know what? I'm not going to go to town with this. I'm going to say town. I'm not going to over decorate it. I'm going to keep it nice and simple. I'm going to have my little, uh, is he straight? Yes, he is. Wait a minute. You don't want a wonky donkey. I don't want a wonky, a wonky donkey. Do you remember that? I used to love Wonky Donkey. What was Wonky Donkey? S SMTV. Oh, Do you know where uh, Anton Deck and Cat Dealey? I don't. I, I remember the show. I don't think I remember Wonky Donkey though. Do you not remember Wonky Donkey? Oh, no. I love to love Wonky Donkey. I love it. You're, you need to Google that. Google it. Google it. You know what I mean, don't you, Laura? Google it. I'll, Absolutely love it. So all we're going to do, Joe, is we're building up as little scenes. You've even got, look at this, you've got little uh, pieces here where you can add so your sheep can be stood in some hay. So literally, you're going to pop that there. I don't know if you can see it overhead, George. Thank you very much. <laughs> so you can see, you can add these little elements to it as well, which I just think is really cute. Uh, this is the fun factor part, this one. These are the fun. And this is what I'm saying. You know, we're talking about the kids getting involved. They're going to love this. And this is the sheep laying in his little lay as well. It's all those extra touch little details that really do make this collection come to life. And it's just super cute. And then you're just going to add all these elements that might have him laid next to Mary and Joseph, this one. Let's have him up there. I haven't covered baby Jesus or Baba. Let me go. No, there he is. Laying at the side of him again. Very difficult to see, but we'll try and do a front angle again for you. So you can see this. And then you're just going to play around and build up your scene. Let's have him at the front. Beautiful. And look, look at this, Joe. Let me just Beautiful. make sure I've got him. Oh, wait a minute. I've stuck his I think I from... prefer them a little bit taller, you know, Debbie. You prefer him what? Prefer them a little bit taller. This size that you're working on here Do you is like my favourite height. Yes. Yeah, they're lovely, aren't they? But look at that lovely scene. I'm not going to add anything else, Joe. All you will probably do is just add your sentiments on there. But you've got that beautiful scene. But it's the fact that it's. And this is an eight inch size, this one. So awesome. That's just being extended to eight inches. There you How go. gorgeous is that? Uh, if you want to go uh, for uh, your Christmas collection, £47.63, of course, if you want to buy that whole collection. Uh, or don't forget that you can mix and match them as well. Now, I want to go back through the card top we've got for you, the A3 card top. Not just A3 card top, A3 Centura Pearl card top. Now, a lot of you um, do love our A3 card stock. We don't have it in stock as often as we would like. Um, and also, 
the thing is, it costs us a fortune to send it to the US. So, uh, so why we don't have it on very often? If you are spending over $100, remember you're going to get totally free shipping and handling. So you're going to get the ivory one here. Now, the great one thing about the ivory, it's double-sided. So it's wonderful for if you're doing big card blanks. It works perfectly for that. So you're going to get the double-sided ivory. You're also then going to get the snow white with the in the hint of silver. You've got 25 sheets of this one just here. And again, it really is gorgeously pearlescent and in the A3 size. If you've not seen the A3 before, it's double A4 basically. So it's two lots of A4. So the great thing about that is savvy crafters out there will know that even if you don't use A3, cut it down in half at home and then you've got, um, what, 140 sheets of A4 Centura Pearl, some of it double-sided, for £25 uh, or $38. If you're a Club Inspire Platinum member, £20 is what you're going to be looking at uh, for this. So really, really awesome deal there on the card slot. So make sure you get that in your basket. That is a lot of cardstock um, right there. Now, lots of you chatting away. So Paula says, hey Joe, those animals in the first pop-up box you showed, they could be on their way to visit the Holy Family in the other manger. I think that's definitely where uh, the design team were going uh, with that. Maybe there's going to be a whole, you know, a whole um, nativity scene of pop-up cards uh, all together. Uh, the lambs would be cute for Easter. They would, uh, Anne, they would indeed. A little bit of irony there that we have roast lamb at Easter, but I, I feel, still think it would be a cute Easter idea. Um, Gilmore's asking, Debbie, what colour did you use to colour the nativity scene? Yeah, so awesome. Our tri blends that I use there. Uh, so the nativity one, it had the dark red shade. We've got the dark red shade. Uh, we've got the royal, uh, royal blue. I'm going to call it then. True blue shades uh, and blends uh, and lots of different ones. And this one is the brown. And if I remember right, like, just uh, it was the earth brown. This one. So lots of little little colours that you can use. Just have a play with them. Um, you could, you know, you know what kind of colour tone you want to go with. Uh, you just, you know, have a play. Awesome. I hope that answers your question, Gilmore. Uh, Susan says, uh, a pop-up box with farm animals would be a great future option. I think that would be a really, really good shout, actually. Uh, keep getting your questions and comments in. Please keep sending in pictures as well of the pop-up boxes that you have been making, because we really, really love seeing them. Uh, it's very, very busy across both collections. Remember, you can mix and, max, mix and match across both the collections as well, should you wish. Don't forget, this isn't, uh, there's loads more shows still coming up. Of course, uh, one of my favourite shows of the entire week will be coming up after this, Second Chance Sunday, with myself and Craig, which will be lovely. Uh, there's lots on it. There's loads of different things uh, that you're going to be able to uh, grab hold of there some of the highlights over the last couple of weeks uh, and then of course the craft fault with myself and craig as well coming your way at 7 p.m which uh, uk time which is 2 p.m east coast time don't forget as well we're gonna have to vote for our demo of the show uh before the end of the show too so after this i think i know which i think it, this next demonstration is going to be <laughs> it's a foregone conclusion debbie the next one's going to be the best one because it is fantastic and something that i've never seen before this next demonstration well, I just wanted to, you know, we like to think of the different versatile ways that we can use these. Now, we've talked about using with different collections that you have, those beautiful twirling uh, sentiments and things, and you saw some beautiful pictures from the lovely uh, viewers that had brought in the Mickey Mouse, the babies. That's what you can do. But what you can also do is think about this in a little different way. So have that pop-out feature in the middle of a card. So I've got a lovely, and I mean, I don't know about anybody else, and I heard the comment yesterday, one of, I think it was, was it our lovely, um, Tanya that was on with us at the craft house and she said she loved working with big cards mm. here in the UK we are we're, we're, we're very firm favorites of seven by sevens and eight by eights I am an eight by eight girl I love the bigger the card the better for me because I just think it has that wow statement although I do love lots of different things and I love this technique because this technique not only has it got that big card element but when you open it up you and I, I just love this are you ready for this are you ready open the card up you've got that lovely Boom. Pop up feature in the middle of the card, and this is what you can do with these. And it's really quite simple how to do it, she says. <laughs> but it really is, honestly. I mean, it's just a lovely feature, and it still folds nice and flat as well. So when you get it done, it folds flat, and you've got all that added extra element. I, love it. That I think lovely it's a lovely pop out feature in there as well, Joe. It's a great so, new way of using these. I've not seen all the time we've done this, I've never seen have you never that seen concept this? with this. No, so I think that's an awesome way of using it. 
it. Let me know in the comments if you've done this uh, already or it's new to you. Uh, remember, if you want to chat away with me, you can do so over on Facebook. It's uh, Crafters TV on Facebook or search Crafters Companion over on YouTube. Right, Joel, we're going to start with... Now, we just mentioned day three cardstock, did we not? We did. Yeah. So <clears> I've made an 8x8 card using the A3 cardstock. So absolutely fabulous. I've got my 8x8 and it's that beautiful Centura pearl finish. It's got that lovely sheen and shine. So literally, all we're going to do is make that using uh, your scoreboard. And it's very simple to do as well. So that bit put to one side. But we're going to talk about the worker element die again. Now, exactly the same way as when we first started, where we're going with this. It just depends on how big. Now, if you think about an 8x8 card, what size do you want to go to? You don't want something that's going to be bigger because it'll spoil the effect when it pops out. So for this one, and I'm just, apart from running it through again, I just think sometimes this might be get a little bit tedious if you're watching. So I'm just going to show you what we did. Now, taking some cardstock again, and measurement wise, I know that seven and a half would look lovely in the middle of the box because these parts are the tabs that are going to fold down. So I know, again, just think about how, how big you want to go with the box make sure you're not going too big that it'll come out of the 8x8 but I know that that's going to fold over nicely and again it's exactly the same way pop it on your two pieces of cardstock bearing in mind when you've run that through all you're going to do again Joe is you're going to extend it by taking your scoreboard and your score tool and scoring down to the bottom part and the same with this tab uh, this tab part as well exactly the same way and you're just going to give it nice burnish uh, um, a nice burnished finish finish is the word I'm looking for there and exactly the same way again we're going to go in fold it inwards fold that inwards and there we go so we've got all our burnished parts ready now what we're also going to do is we're going to keep these two bits um, straight because if you think about these these are going to sit inside the card so I don't need to fold that over this time I can keep them nice and straight what I'm just going to do is make sure that these two pieces are coming over so that they're going to be the front parts when it pops out of the box and we're going to construct this box the same way that we've done all the way through the show. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to put my tape on the inside of that tab. Everything's exactly the same. We're not changing anything up. Um, what we're just making sure, Debbie, is that you've got your inside of the box right. So um, this straight edge, I'm going to marry up to this tab here. Okay? Lots of people loving this idea. Gilmore says, love the idea of the box card embedded in. Uh, Angela saying, how awesome would the staycation stamp and dive be with these? Yes, Ooh, absolutely, Angela. Yes. Uh, Laurie says, this, uh, that opens up many possibilities. Pop it in, pop up in the card. Uh, and Susie saying, I love the idea of the pop-up inside the card. I'm going to make them for my auntie's birthday next weekend. Oh. Uh, as well, uh, that, which is awesome. And you know what? She'll love it. The fact that you've got a pop-up box inside a pop-up card. It's just going to look incredible. I've done exactly the same with the tabs. So the tabs that are on the inside, exactly the same where I've done the um, the Z feature. You can see there just by one up, one down. And you repeat that on all of them. And we're going to put this in the same way that we've done with the boxes. So again, if you remember what we did, we had our box constructed, stuck together, but just before you fold it all in, pop a bit of glue glue just down this edge or your chosen tape so again I'm just using our super strong adhesive and going all the way down and then I'm going to just pop in now all of these tabs making sure that this flat edge measure, uh, measures up alongside there so I'm going to carry on doing that Joe if you want to be reading some comments yeah, absolutely. I was just looking ahead, actually, Debbie, to the awesome things that are coming up uh, at the start of next week uh, here on Crafters TV. Um, so tomorrow, uh, we've got a fantastic Craig, uh, a fantastic Craig vault. <laughs> Craig vault? That is, don't you? <laughs> That's a craft vault with Craig. Don't forget, though, of course, tomorrow morning, Wake Up Call with Craig's going to be here with you first thing, uh, as it always is. He's, he's up in the next hour, in the next show, actually, for Second Chance Sunday. So I'll have to get a little bit of a, uh, a teaser from him as to what might be coming up tomorrow in that show. And then something that you have all been waiting for. Ooh. It is, of course, launch day. The new Sara Signature Caring Thoughts collection. It's your Crafters TV launch day. Uh, so make sure you join us for that. I know you guys are going to absolutely love it. And then I've got a fantastic... Um, Monday Makers uh, with uh, the lovely Jan uh, a little later in the evening uh, and Sarah Brown will be joining us as well uh, there will be no second craft fault tomorrow because um, Sarah will be up with Adam Freeman uh, on the HSN pages from this 
uh, on the HSN page and from uh, our USA page, I believe. I'll give you more details of that tomorrow uh, as well. Hang on. Yes, that's on uh, Monday. Tuesday, uh, up to 30% off Craft Fault uh, with myself and Leanne. Me and Leanne have not worked together for absolutely ages. So it's going to be a really fun day with Leanne. I've then got a uh, softer side with Lizzie Skyping me in from, uh, from Suffolk. So that'll be nice. I've got launch party back with Leanne as well. And we are launching the new Crafters Inspiration 29, uh, which will be incredible. And then finally, uh, the second edition of Craftful up to 30% off. So that's the next couple of days uh, here on Crafters TV. Fabulous. Now, Joe, I've been busy doing the cheat way of getting these in, so it's nice and neat, uh, and that lovely neat finish, and I hope that's helped um, putting it together to show you. Um, I might need to do a front view for this one, just so you can see it, but when you bring this down, all you're going to do is marry up that tab on the inside now of this tab, and it just is incredibly easy. Another way you could do it is just flatten it, flatten it and then marry up to that uh, that edge but just take care when you're doing this to make sure it's nice and flush up to that score line and I'm just I'm just gonna hold it this way so I can see what I'm doing always very difficult I know Sarah's an absolute dab and at getting upside where down where does the back. word or the term it. dab and come from that's what I want to know oh I've no idea Laura's googling googling she go googling, she googling. <laughs> <laughs> now I've got my box all ready so before we put this inside the card, we're going to decorate that card up. So I'm going to bring back in my card using that I've made from the A3 cardstock. What I've done, though, is, do you know those gorgeous papers, Joe? Oh, they're to die for. They're absolutely beautiful. And I've done a bit of matting and layering. So what I've done is, because I knew it was an 8 by 8 card, I've used some craft card and cut this to 7 and 3 quarters by 7 and 3 quarters. And then the cardstock itself from that beautiful paper pad, I've gone to seven and a half inches. That's right, seven and a half inches by seven and a half inches square. So I've got the perfect mat and layer that's going to fit on the inside and the outside of my card. So what I'm going to do is, Joe, I'm going to pop on some wet glue to get this into place. Awesome. And then we're just going to place that onto the front. And I'm just going to make sure that's all the way around. And then get that and wiggle it into spots. Inkwell chick saying this would be a fun element in a memory album. Oh, what wouldn't a it? Imagine idea. like the centre page being this. What a lovely idea that is. I like that idea. We're going to decorate the inside of the uh, inside of the card as well to make sure that it's got that lovely wow element when you when you pick this up when you pick it up. So mm. again, let's pop that in, Joe. And I'm going to do the same with the other one as well. There we go. Uh, it's a, a dab hand comes from Yorkshire dialect, apparently. And well, it means I am from to Yorkshire. Be straight in the middle or something like that. Some, that's where we seem, seem to think. But not really a definitive answer on the internet as to where it comes from. Just something that we use. I find it very, very interesting. I find it interesting how we, how we all have different accents anyway. And, you know, how a place like the UK and England, we can have so many different accents in such a tiny... Uh, in such a tiny part of the country even I can tell the difference between now having worked in this area for a little while I can tell the difference between a Darlington accent a Durham accent and a Newcastle accent <laughs> which is yeah. which is I mean and there's probably you kidding probably within 25 30 miles of each other yeah absolutely <laughs> and then someone oh I know that's from Chesterley Street which is very close to Newcastle they spoke totally different to someone that's from Newcastle and I just couldn't get my head uh, around that that's do you know that's that's I can't, I can't tell the difference. Like with Yorkshire, I mean, there's so many, it's like you said, the Yorkshire dialect, there's different places from where you are, because Sheffield's in Yorkshire and Leeds is in Yorkshire. Leaders in Yorkshire, isn't it? Yes, it is. Uh, there's different dialects for all that. I just think it's absolutely fascinating, and I absolutely love an accent to just think, don't disguise your accent, be proud of where you're from, um, and that's what you should do. Now, can we talk about the box? Can we go yeah. to the box? Because I want to talk to you about how you would place this in. Now, I talked about sticking it down into the box so you can see. You're going to pop it onto either side of this. But I thought about this afterwards and I thought, you know what? Let's decorate it before we actually do. But when you can see that pop-up motion, that's where it's going to stick. 
inside and um, uh, sorry inside the card so i'm thinking to myself shall we decorate the box first and then pop it in so i've I done reckon. my panels and i've taken my card stock uh, so it's just so that i've got a visual of where my card is and where it's going to pop up so when you look at this let's just pop this in so you can see what i mean when we stick these two panels this panel and this panel are going to go on the inside of the card can you see that pop out motion joe Indeed, it absolutely. Let me bring that in. So I know that when I'm decorating now the card, I want to decorate this panel, this panel, this tab, this tab, and the inside tabs here. So with that in mind, I'm just going to move that out for a second, lay that flat, and I'm going to start to decorate up this. Okay. So let's just pop this down. So it's very simple, really, when you think about it and strip it back. And I'm hoping that um, I'm explaining this clear enough to you when you're wanting to replicate this. But it was just something I absolutely love, the idea of a pop-out feature. I'm a box-loving girl at heart. I love making boxes. Um, construction is definitely one of my things. And I love trying new ideas. But the idea of having a pop-out explosion inside a card, I just thought I wanted to share with you. So there we go. So I popped in those two elements there and then I'm going to decorate the inside tabs here as well. Awesome. So bearing in mind you've got those dies that will cut out the inner panel, all I've done is added an extra quarter of an inch on in craft card. I thought craft card looked quite nice for a change, Joe. Mm, really lovely. Uh, I just want to share with you some of the stuff that you're going to find coming up in that Second Chance Sunday show a little bit later. Uh, we've got the stained glass window dies on that are always popular. Uh, we've also got the uh, decorative outline die collection uh, that was on recently that was on a fantastic I mean we've got some great great deals coming up in the show uh, there's gonna be some flower forming coming up in that show as well which I know you love I know Craig really loves that as well we've got the winter dyes on there from the flower forming and also the learn, learn to flower form collection those reef sentiment uh, that have always been busy they're coming up I know your favorite one the ultimate organizer complete collection you guys have been loving that already and also another chance to see uh, the peekaboo collections the uh, beautiful butterflies and also we've got some uh, beautiful card uh, on there for you too. So it's going to be a really jam-packed, busy Second Chance Sunday show uh, coming up with myself and Craig in about an hour and 25 minutes. So make sure uh, that you join us both for that one. Is oh, this paper from the paper pad that you're using is, here, Debbie? It is, it is. It absolutely is. It's the most beautiful paper pad. Um, that you, I, I mean, I love paper, full stop. I'm a big, big lover of paper and cardstock. Um, and it is absolutely glorious. But all it's enabling me to do is just simply decorate the inside of the box. I'm going to make sure that that's stuck down before I actually stick that in. But can you see now that the bits that I want to be on show are now in place? So there's no point wasting anything on the back because that's going to be covered up um, and the same there they're the only bits that I want to be decorating so that's that's all done Joe and now what we're going to do is bring the cardstock back in because what we're going to do now is just stick it in now this bit is the bit there I would recommend either red liner tape or your wet glue or your tape pen so any glue of your choice whatever it is that you want to do I think with this one I'm going to use wet glue because to get it into place I want a bit of forgiving time I want a bit of leeway to get it into its place so that it folds nice and crisply in the center so if you are going to red light use red liner tape just take care make sure you've got it ready and into going because it's quite difficult you'll end up tearing your beautiful papers on the inside of your card so for that reason i'm going to use wet glue and if you think about it i'm just going to turn it over so you can see where i want to put the wet glue is on all of these panels so i'm going to pop that on now and we're going to just run that all the way along this is a bit where everyone is concentrating. I can sense it, Debbie. At can home. you? <laughs> I can feel well, it's just to make sure that you've the got it into concentration place. Concentration of the whole audience. <laughs> It's just so you can get it right. Now, when you pop this in, Joe, you're going to bear in mind this score line is the one that's going to measure up into the middle. So I'm going to just place that now. And I want it to be, I'm going to have it right at the very bottom. So, and again, using wet glue, Joe, makes it a little bit easier because if it does uh, splodge out anywhere. If it does what does now? It splodge. Splodge out. Splodge out. So where glue, glue escapes. The best thing about this is it's that forgiving glue because you can rub it off. You roll it up like, um, um, oh my goodness, what's the right word? 
Uh, you just roll it until you've got all the little bits off and it means that you can get that into place. But what I'm going to do now, Joe, is I'm just going to make sure that it folds up. So you can see I've lifted it up a little bit. I'm going to make sure that that crease is right into the fold of my card and give it a good press down. And then I'm just going to flip it over for a second so we can repeat it on the other side as well. And make sure you've pushed it up into the corner of that fold. Okay. Oh, perfect bit of camera work there thank you very much for that george that looks fantastic so that you can get to see how you're popping that in there so that bit said all i'm going to make sure is that when it's folded over it folds nice and flat so now give it a good burnish on could either you, side could you put something on top of that if you wanted to and leave it just for a bit oh Debbie. of course you can of course you can the thing about wet wet glue the the, the uh, glue that we use it here ever such a lot and now leanne calls it her favorite glue in the whole wide world is it, that it does dry fairly quickly it's not something that's going to take like 24 hours to dry or anything like that but it gives you that forgiving time to be able to get things into place so you can see now everything is in there and we know now that that folds up nice and flat but when we open it up Da -da! and we haven't even decorated it yet joe so that bit is the bit that i'm going to do next i'm going to let that dry and it's like you said about putting something heavyweight on there absolutely if you want to do that but i know that that's going to be fine and i don't think anything's going to happen to it so what i'm just going to do now joe is place it to one side just for a second while we then do the bit of decorating awesome. this one which one shall we use this time joe <gasps> oh let me think let me think oh no where have i put it where have i put it getting so excited is it your bat wings again no no it's not your <laughs> bat wings no i'm going to use the back to nature Oh, but you I love could that. use anything you wanted. Could you imagine having that lovely Mickey Mouse theme or that baby theme? Oh, yeah. Where you could put Welcome to the World on the front and then all your baby features inside. You've got that lovely pop out element. I just think, you know, you could use absolutely anything. But this one's a gorgeous one, the Back to Nature. And as with all the other collections that we've got, you've got the set of stamps. I'll just move that out of the way for a second. You've got the set of stamps. And when you stamp it all out and then use your dies, you've got every single die there that means you don't have to take your fussy cut scissors I mean I know our Craig God love him he would be fussy cutting that out he would love it uh, but for the, those who don't want to you've got the matching dies for each and every single one and don't forget you've got the tri blends on the show as well so you could do a spot of coloring shall we color one of the little flowers in let's use oh I love the dusty purple dusty purple one of my favorites dusty this one. purple light medium dark the original uh, tri blend pen with the nib bullet nib on each one and it's that three in one family of colors that make it really easy to get seamless effortless coloring every single time and blending with ease so you're going to start with the light we'll do this lovely floral one i'm going to start with the light one. Oh, do you know what i'm doing cardinal sin I haven't put any blotting paper underneath. Get your blotting paper underneath, Debbie. Uh, but you're going to pop down your light colour. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the lightest colour down on each of these panels. There we go. Pop that down. I just love it. I could... You'll have to excuse me, It's Joe, like a colouring coma. I'm mesmerised as so well sorry. today, I, I just, uh, Debbie. I, I forget to talk. Um, Shannon says she's going to try this for a birthday card that she needs to make next week, which is awesome. Uh, Karen says the card is awesome. Definitely going to get my vote today. My vote is for this card. This is definitely my selection for demo of the show. This is one of my favourites as well, says Jeffrey, uh, Gilmore, Teresa. Uh, definitely. I, I mean, I, I think we don't even need the... I don't, I'm not sure we even need to bother with the vote today, you know, Debbie. Already, people making their feelings very clear about what the winning demo is on this show. Uh, so uh, we will give you a chance to vote because you know you know the uh, you know it's a sort of a democratic election of these uh, of these demonstrations so we can't i mean we could <laughs> i couldn't just come in and say you know i've decided that it's going to be this one today that's not how it goes the people have not yet spoken although they kind of have at the same time <laughs> um, it's very busy, of course, both of your collections as well. Remember what you can do is mix and match, which is fantastic. Don't forget to do that, uh, whether you're going for the everydays or you're mix and matching uh, across with your Christmas ones as well. Uh, we've got the tri-blends on the show as well, remember, all of the six pieces. So if you've been thinking about maybe just dipping your toe, you don't want to go for a whole collection, the great thing is that they are all on there. They're kind of in like 
I guess they're like project packs is how I like to think of these. You've got floral, portrait, vintage, woodland, natural, exotic, coastal, and jewel. Uh, and they are 19.99 each or 29.95. Any two though for 35 pounds or $50. So don't miss out on those, which is great. Cause you get a nice little saving. Uh, when you get two of them in there twos, which is awesome. Um, Karen says, you certainly weren't wrong, Joe, when you said this would be the favour. I kind of thought, I sort of thought I knew I did. Uh, Debbie's going for the demo of the week with this card, is what I'm saying. Well, don't forget, we're going to be picking demo of the week, aren't we, in the next show. So uh, we will be doing that. Uh, we will vote uh, throughout the show on that. Uh, Lynn Harvey says she's definitely voting for this card as well. It, I, I mean, it is a foregone conclusion, really, isn't it? Uh, oh, what is going to be... Thank you. What's going to be winning uh, on this one just here? Um, really, I love this this particular collection that you've got here, Debbie. It's the um, the Back to Nature one uh, that we've gorgeous. got just here. It really is a gorgeous one and, uh, and something that you could colour up. I mean, you could make it quite, quite autumnal if you want to. The yep. one I've got here is quite spring-like almost. I know it's kind of very uh, all sort of yellows and reds, uh, which is fantastic. So it, you can see it is um, really, really beautiful and also quite summery, but you can make it wintry. You could make it Christmassy if you want to. How about putting things like glossy accents on there to make it you know, look quite, uh, quite different? Uh, and also, someone's put a bow on the front of this one. You could actually put, could you put proper bows on the front, couldn't you? Not that that's not a proper bow, but you know, a bow made from <laughs> ribbon. You can. You I found can it like Bow Selector then, didn't I? It's proper <laughs> bow, I tell me. <laughs> <laughs> you can put uh, anything you want onto these, Joe. It's all about that decoration. This is the fun part that you're going to... Um, you're going to have the fun with. Oh, and these die sets and stamp sets, I keep telling you, and I, I mean this, you can use this into all your other uh, crafting too, not just with the pop-up boxes. You can use this in multiple ways, absolutely multiple ways. So, shall I start putting this together? Because what I'll do is, I'm just going to show you, again, you've got all the dies from the florals to the uh, bark pieces here and when you die cut them all out and I'm just going to bring this in without trying to knock everything off there Joe because I know what I'm like and I've got my acetate stuck to my pieces but look what you can create by using all of these and these are going to be the decorated bock bit bo I'll speak again <gasps> dropping all my bits again Joe I'm dropping all my bits I'm trying to get up what am I stood on now oh <gasps> do you know what Hopeless. you dropped I've keep, keep I, well, I tripped over my bag earlier, then I've dropped the top end of my um, glue, do you know, my tape pen, and I've just stood on it and crushed it. Oh, Debbie. Well, what can I say? Now, I go back in, by going back to these, cut them all out, so, die, so stamp them, colour them, die cut them, get them ready to put onto your project. And that's exactly what I'm going to do, Joe. So I'm just going to move those out of the way. And then we're going to start building this up. So I'm going to bring back in my lovely card base. It'll be nice and dry now. But look, it still folds. Lovely and neat. Pop up. Lovely and neat. Pop up. <laughs> <Just love it. laughs> Are you I'm just going to do that for the rest of the show now? <laughs> <laughs> That's you, Seth. Pop up. Absolutely. I'm just looking for my acetate, though. I had it a minute ago, Joe. What did I do with it? Uh, the, oh, the, is it right uh, in front of me? Where? Where? Oh no, wait a minute. What are you looking for now? Me acetate. Give me a yeah, second, I, I mean, need to find me acetate. Could be, uh, that could be anywhere, couldn't it? It could, could be, be anywhere. absolutely it, anywhere, it, let's look, face I've it. Look, I've got a little bit left. I've got a little bit. I didn't have a big piece because everything was stuck to it a minute ago. I, just, I love acetate, but honestly. It's under the packaging in front of you, apparently. No? No. Mm -hmm. It's just one of those things you can't help but lose. I know I'm not the only person. I know every crafter out there will be howling because it happens to them too. Drives me mad. Love the stuff, but it drives me mad. So what we're going to do is... Maybe someone will rewind, see where you put it, and then fast forward again and let us know. <laughs> That's what someone could do. I know Absolutely. that our crafters are that dedicated, Debbie. They'll do it for us. I know do you think will. so, George? Do you think so? I know so. so. I know so. <laughs> you know so. Right. We're going to start doing the decorating bit. So, again, entirely up to you, however you put this in. You're going to build up the scene yourself. What I'm just going to do, I'm going to try and bring it there. It's very difficult to do this on this overhead camera. So, I'm just going to have it at the front of me. I think what we might do is do it this way. Let's see if we can go to the front. And I'll, I'll try. It was on top of your stamps, apparently. Was it on top of my stamps, was it? I bet I've moved yeah. my stamps out of way, Joe. That's what I'll have done. Let me stamps. just... <coughs> I'm just going to move this to one side. I'm going to bring this in so that I can do the decorating piece. And I'm just going to start adding these bits in. 
very, very difficult to do upside down, back to front and everything else. It really is. Before I actually put some of the scenes on though, I'm going to add some extra little elements. So if I've lost my bird now, I'm going to be right angry with myself. You lost your Honestly, what? my bird. Let me pop oh, my bird. Oh, it's flown off. I, well, do you know, it's one of these things when you get it's in this craft room. It's on top of your dyes and stamps, apparently, Debbie. The acetate. You move Did it off I? to the side on top of your dyes and stamps. No. No. <laughs> it's between the dyes and the stamps. <gasps> Who uh, said that? Who rewound it? Laura. Laura re that, rewound. My goodness. Oh, yeah. I bet you did a bit of rewinding there, didn't you? I thought so. I knew you'd find <laughs> it. I knew you'd find it. I found my bird, though, so all is saved. But oh, I, what well, I'm going to do is I'm just going to add these little features on before I actually stick it in. So I've put my bird floating on my little branch there. And then we're going to hang my lovely little bird, ca uh, my bird cage. What's well, not a bird cage, is it? What's that called? What is feeding, it? Feeding tray. Is it a feeding tray? I can't see what it is. Think, you can't, there, little feeding, little feeding, it's those little details. Let me go back down here. Let's see if I can go down there for George. A birdhouse. Bird bird, it is a birdhouse. What am I like? Right, so I'm going to start sticking that on. Oh dear. I'm just going to start sticking it on and getting it all ready. So all these lovely little features are on there before I stick them in. So again, I'm going to place that. I think I might have that on that side. Let me come in closer. Oh, I'm going to have to learn the knack of uh, doing this this way. <laughs> you see, at home, Joe, at home, I would be facing this in front of me and doing it that way. Yeah. I just want to make sure that it's not, uh, when it folds, it is going to fold nice and flat. There we go. Let me just, I've got a wonky tree, Joe. I've got a wonky oh, tree. Oh, no. <gasps> Can't be having a wonky tree. Right, let me be doing this. Read some more comments, Joe, while I try and do this and get you it in do, there. You do that. I guess it's a bit difficult to do it from behind, isn't it? Facing the right way when you've got it uh, in that way. Uh, loads of you chatting away. Uh, there's, we're not, I think we, we've abandoned the vote, you know, uh, because the people have spoken, Debbie. Um, every single message has been about <laughs> this car so far. <laughs> Jenny says it's demo of the show. Inkwell Chick, I vote for this demo. Uh, Four Holiday says this card with a hidden pop-up box is the demo of the show and the demo of the week is what people are saying. Oh, Diane, uh, oh, so, I'm not getting too carried away. I'm not going to get too excited. Yeah, just don't get yet. too excited. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's a you've got a lot of competition, Debbie. But I know I think, I've seen you know, some beauties, some absolute beauties. Yeah. I mean, you'll have to come back up and you'll have to come. You'll have to turn around halfway to Peterborough and come back and get the uh, get. Your tro there isn't a trophy. Is there is a trophy? There? What can we? I tell you what. I'll give you this. This can be your trophy if you win. There if you I go. Win. Is that this if is, I this win? Will, this will be your trophy if you win, <laughs> Debbie. I'll let you take this lantern. How about that? That's the winner of the lantern of. Um, don't know. What can we call it? Um, the lantern of love. The lantern of love. Yeah. I like that. The lantern that's of what, that's, So that's what you'll win. I'm not sure what our boss Jenny will say when she comes in tomorrow. No, and realise no. I think that I, the I set think, dressing's yeah, missing. I <laughs> I don't think she'd um, be happy that you've been destroying a, a beautiful set because let's just say a lot of hard work has gone into this beautiful new studio that we've got uh, and it looks absolutely incredible, mm. absolutely incredible. It does, but Suzette, Diane, Jane, uh, Carol, uh, Carol says I thought Craig was <laughs> going to win this week, then I thought Leanne, but Debbie may have just picked it at the post, go Debbie, uh, Ruth <laughs> loving it as well. Um, Lou's got a great tip for you. Put a piece of washi tape on the edge of your acetate and then you never lose it. Oh, mm, I like tip. that. That is a cracking it idea. Is, isn't it? Right, this. what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take you back through uh, the everyday collection that you have got uh, here because it's very, very busy on this. Remember, uh, when you get it all together, you get a great sale. It should be over £100 if you're in the UK. However, today it's £67. Should be almost $140, uh, but today $88. However, Club Inspired Platinum members, you're saving even more. £53.60 in the UK or $70.40 if you are in the US. So this is that gorgeous I Believe in Fairies one that we've got just here. You can see all the fairies and the little house and all of those uh, bits in there. Uh, we've then got the floral bouquet one here as well, which is just divine. I think it is really, really lovely. And remember, you're going to be able to colour that one up in loads of different ways. We've then got the vintage tea party. <gasps> Do love a tea party. We love a bit of cake, as you may have uh, worked out if you joined us at the start of the show. This is the one that Debbie is working on right now. 
which is awesome, which is that lovely sort of wooded theme, which is your back to nature. You've got your birthdays in here. I mean, we all have birthdays, but it's a really fantastic one to have because you know you're gonna get so much use out of it. This one here is that, is it once upon a time? Ah, oh, I finally remembered it. Just in time for the end of the show. And then you've also got this one here, which is your ocean paradise. Now, that's, I mean, they are seven. What I love about it is for £67, you've got seven different collections there. They are all very, very different. So it really will cover loads and loads of bases for you as well, which is brilliant. Don't forget as well about the uh, worker die that you need, the die which is going to, of course, cut the base and the box for you as well. Uh, now, no matter which one you're using, or if you're not even using any of these uh, dies and stamps, then you need to... I need to... Debbie... What's that? I've had an accident. What have you done? Uh, have no. you broke something? I've broke the box. Well, I haven't... I mean, it was already broken a little bit, but it has... It's, uh, you'll say I've anything. unstuck me flat. You'll say anything to get off the hook there. There we go. So make sure you get that worker die because that is going to create that box for you, which is awesome. Details are there on your screen. It also is going to, uh, has in there the dies that you need to um, cut the mats and layers for the panels and also to cut the tags for you as well. Uh, let's recap on the festive ones. You can see here, uh, Away in a Manger. This one only available in the bundle which is absolutely awesome uh we've then got as well the what's it called winter cottage oh hello <laughs> look at me throwing <laughs> throwing things around christmas cottages this one just here uh you've also then got as well a uh, poinsettia which is that one just there which is uh, fantastic you've got the gingerbread too we really love this one uh, and then finally last but by no means least You've also got that snowman one, but I do not have a uh, finished sample for that one. So here is the board. Here's everything you're gonna be cutting out for that. Uh, the gingerbread is in the lead at the moment, uh, which is absolutely awesome. Don't forget, if you wanna mix and match across the two collections, you can. Any two for 26 pounds or for 35 dollars. How's your card coming on, Debbie? Oh, well, I'm getting there, Joe, I'm getting there. So let me just put finishing, my little finished. I've done decorated the front. I've put some more extra little elements. I'm just going to finish this off with a little bird just on the top of the branch there. So I've got my lovely little tag there with the just for you. But then when we open it up, are you ready, Joe? Are you ready? Let's move all my things out of the way. I hope this works. I hope this works. Are you ready there? Woohoo! I love that. So it is very, very simple to do. It's a very easy, achievable thing that you can do as well. But what that actually does is just give it a wonderful extra element that you can use this. I just think it's fabulous. Joe, while I get ready to move this to one side, if this is going to be the one going on the shelf, not that I'm getting a bit ahead of myself, I'm going to get some more samples ready because I want to show you some of the amazing work that our design team have done. Um, I'm just glad to be able to share with you today well, it's some different ways that you can use these pop-out boxes. It's definitely the demo of the show. There's no doubt about that. We, we usually sort of wait a little bit um, and then move on. Apparently, <laughs> and then we do it at the end. But unanimous already. Suzette says, Joe is Calamity Jane uh, this morning. I love Calamity Jane. I bet her mother spun them. Uh, <laughs> that is a, that's a line from Calamity Jane. There you go. All you Calamity Jane fans out there uh, will know. Let's whip crack away. Sarah Brown says, Debbie and Joe both have really made me smile. Enjoyed watching you both today. Sarah, I'm really looking forward to speaking to you tomorrow uh, in our Monday Maker Show. Evelyn loves the Woodland pop-up boxes. Jean Marie uh, says, I agree. Pop-up box, pop, pop up box pop out is what we're calling that apparently uh, lots of you've been sending in pictures of what you've been making which we always love as well uh, Peggy has sent these in uh, Co Peggy Conrad sent this in uh, with the gingerbread ones there which look awesome <gasps> Penelope sorry Pamela uh, has done a purple one love that very very on brand that purple one there uh, Lynn's done one this is sort of computer gamed I think, I th oh, is it a, a George reliably informed me? It's what game, George? Minecraft. Oh, love mm. it. Are you a bit love of a gamer, it. George? He is a gamer. <laughs> he definitely knows that's Minecraft. Okay. Oh, I, th I think the kids play something called Call of Duty as well, but I, I mean, I couldn't tell you what it's about or what it is. Not, not a clue. Oh, Laura's not happy about it, so we better move on. That must be something to do with Tom. Yeah, that's I think. All is we that can something say. to do with your boyfriend, Laura? Ah. Oh. Mm. <laughs> what, what's, it, what's, what's it about, George, Call of Duty? Oh, it's, oh, it's, it a, it's sounds... a war game where you shoot people. It doesn't sound very, doesn't sound very friendly, does it? No. I mean, I used to, 
<laughs> I, I used to play, you know, th lovely things like Roller Coaster Tycoon and Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, Sonic and the, the Hedgehog, Don Donkey Love Kong those. Probably is there. Yeah, Donkey Kong wins it if I remember. Yeah, Oof. all the lovely ones. Um, Yolanda says, what size is that pop-out card, Debbie? What I've just done, it was eight by eight. Eight by eight. The pop-out card itself was, it started with a seven and a half inches because the flaps, if I just bring that back in again so you can see that, that is the eight by eight that I made with the um, A3 card stock. But the inside of the card, I measured it up to seven and a half inches uh, because I know that these flaps, and it, if you look at it, it fits just perfectly. Don't go any bigger than... Um, seven and a half because if you do it's going to over it's going to come over the top here and you don't want that you don't this want your box poking half, out yeah this seven and a half <laughs> this seven and a half is just perfect for it so the outside of the card is an eight by eight card and the inside pop-up measurements for this length is seven and a half inches so i hope that helps and i hope that's um, inspired you to try it a little bit differently uh, to what the uh, pop-out boxes is all about but to be fair joe all of the pop-out boxes are fabulous. They all fall flat, but when you open them up, you've got that explosion, and you can add as many as you want. Look at all the mermaids. There's absolutely tons of mermaids in there. Um, but you, no matter what you use, I mean, I love this one. This is just gorgeous. Such a girly, girly one there. Absolutely beautiful. But again, that's a bit scarce. Girly, 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 girly. Did I go girly, oh, it's so girly? So girly, so girly. <laughs> but literally. But literally, you can make these to your own style, whether you go bare minimum or whether you go to town and absolutely throw all sorts at it. Whether you use those gorgeous stamps and dies that you've got in this collection, um, you can be assured that you're going to get something really wow factor with these. And the worker elements, that die set itself is what stands it out, which is what it's going to start. And you're going to use it so many times. Look at all the gorgeous work that you have been sending in this afternoon. Absolutely fabulous. Lots of different ideas, lots of inspiration. I hope you've had a little bit of inspiration from starting off small, going to a large one, and then literally taking it into a card as well. I hope it's giving you some ideas and some inspiration on how to use this, because this is what a masterclass is all about. Giving you the ideas. We, go, we, get, we get all these bits out done to show you how to use it, but I hope you've enjoyed it. Mm, absolutely. And I hope we've inspired you. Uh, I hope you've had a lovely time. And I hope you'll join myself and Craig as well, of course, for Second Chance Sunday in an hour's time. Uh, yes, the pop-out box card has definitely won uh, the demo of the show. Uh, Suzette and Aisha and Deborah are uh, saying thank you for the show. It was an absolute pleasure. Don't forget to check out your baskets if you are going for anything uh, that is in the show. And make sure uh, you get yourself all set to join myself and Craig in an hour. Debbie, when are you back here on Crafters TV? Do you know? Yes. So initially I would have been here Wednesday, but that's a change of plan. I will be here bright and early Thursday. Uh, Thursday, Friday, I'm going to be here. So I'm really excited because there's a couple of launches on there that I'm really excited to get me answered. Oh, into. awesome. We're going to be like ships in the night, unfortunately, Debbie, because I'm back on Saturday. Uh, but whatever you need to do, uh, grab some breakfast, grab some lunch, depending on where you are, get the kettle on, uh, and we'll see you back here in an hour for Second Chance Sunday. See you in a bit.